we back, bro. Come on, man. Episode 26. Is it 26? Yeah, it is. Yeah, 26. Yeah, 26. Right, right, right. Hey, who's number 26? I know who number 10 is. Yeah, I mean, well, we know well, it's episode 26, <laughs> but it's episode 10 because Messi just won the World Cup, man. Damn. Spend Shout out my comments. dog, Messi, man. He actually did it. Number, bro, greatest of all time. I don't give a you know, let me not cuss because we yeah. want to get demonetized. Yeah, no, 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 no. I turned on the game this morning, watched it in bed and stuff. Yeah. Uh, I was up early and like watched it. But like, man, when they got that last goal, I was like, bro. And then they tied it up. I was like, dang, dude. Like, I wasn't expecting that. And then they were like, well, it's going to go to penalties. You know what I mean? And like, I don't know. I remember back in the day, like I had seen like a, a, a Chelsea game that went to penalties. And it was like a crazy, crazy game. So seeing this one go to penalties and it just like, well, give your best five. We're going to do your best five. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, that was crazy, dog. Man, I'll talk real, real quick, obviously, because we have a very special guest here. Mm-hmm. Tomorrow, right? As you can see. But I'll talk about real quick about the World Cup right? or about this game. Because... Bro, I, my favorite player is like Ronaldinho, but my second player player is Messi. And Messi has won everything but the World Cup. This is his last thing. He's never, he's never won the World Cup ever. He, 2014, he lost in the final. There's that one picture of him walking on the stage looking at the World Cup and like he didn't win it. And he's just like there for second place. And then now he actually got to fucking win it. So I'm happy for him. And he's like, this is the last time he's ever going to play the World Cup. So perfectly, he went out on the, on, the, on the top. Yeah. But um, yeah, I, they were up 2 nothing. I was like 78th minute. And then Mbappe does his Mbappe, and he scored fucking three goals. They tied up. It was, <laughs> bro, it was crazy. Beast, bro. It was crazy. Hey, shout out to him, though, man. He went, he spazzed out. Yeah, bro. Mbappe's yeah. going to win, like, two more World Cups, so it's all good. Yeah. Um, but the big thing around today, man, we got we got a very special guest. Man. We just talked about him two weeks ago. Special, special we guest, just, bro. We, talk, we, we, met, we barely met in person two weeks ago. Yeah. Um, for the, the three. three. Come on, man. Well, welcome to the show, man. I appreciate it. Appreciate it. Come Hell on, man. Yeah, for bro. the three, man. I got the spaceships on the blade shirt. Yeah. They, who? I wonder who who's made a beat on. Who? Do you know any? <laughs> do, you know any do you know any producers who made a beat on there by any chance? Hey, hey that's just crazy, bro. <laughs> the, it, is this the first face reveal? Uh yeah, I believe Cause, so. Yeah, 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 yeah. cuz we on, talked man. about it when we uh when we first met. I mean, we told the story already like in the podcast thing. It's like two podcasts, like number 24, right? Yeah, something That's like not that. 24 if you want to hear the whole story and shit, but man, to put a face to the name, somebody who's legendary on the YouTube, getting placements, you know what I mean? Somebody who's like established their sound. This shit's crazy, bro. And like, a big support of the podcast. For sure, bro. Yeah. For sure. You know what I'm saying? He came today bearing gifts. You know what I mean? I got an 18 pack of Modelo. We Come got on, the, man. We got the Yervas. Ah, we got Yerved up. Yeah, bro came in here and, bro, he showed out, yeah, man. I appreciate man. you coming through, yeah, bro. Appreciate for real, it. for real. Appreciate, appreciate the gifts, man. A little early Christmas, you know? Yeah. Come on. I, if, you, if I knew you were bringing gifts, I could have brought something, man. Yeah. You know, like, come on. That's my only thing. I was like, damn, I ain't got nothing. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, <laughs> hey, now we gotta now I gotta send you a lab or something, you know? Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> now I gotta send you a lab or something. Well, thanks for doing your part, yeah, yeah. bro. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, we got four the three in here, man. If you're not familiar, go check out bro's YouTube, four the three on YouTube, four the three on Instagram. Uh yeah. All all the all the platforms. Go check bro out, man. You might have heard him on such records with Joey Fats, you feel me? Off that oh, new man. project at G Way Three um another single that came out before that that video was crazy like i messed with that shit a lot but how you feeling bro everything good everything good man i mean i i'd like to get to like everybody's backstory just kind of like how they got started and shit and like uh just kind of explain like how how you got into production like what was like some of the things that like inspired you what made you buy fl studio what was it bro yeah uh Honestly, I was inspired by, uh, I started producing like, uh, around 2012, yep. okay. 2011, 12, uh, heard ninth wonder was using it. That's a big producer. I followed mm. for a, a time mm-hmm. and I saw like, uh, how he was using it and I was like, yo, I got to get FL. So mm-hmm. I just started trying to, uh, I was start off with soul samples and everything, mm. okay. um, but I was trying to add like more West coast, uh, mm. drums to it. So that was kind of like my whole thing from the beginning. But then I kind of moved away from the samples and started making like my own stuff. You sort oh, okay, bet, bet. Yeah. Is there like a is there like a West Coast sound that you think is like your favorite? Like you have all the perks and all that stuff. Is what's the one West Coast sound you think that is like really West Coast? You know, like that makes a West Coast. Yeah, beat that yeah, makes yeah. it. Uh, it's the lead. It's the gotta be the lead. Gotta, gotta be, be the right, lead. Good gotta answer. Be the lead. <laughs> yeah. Like when you do beats and shit, like is uh, what's like the challenge for you? You know what I mean? Like uh, I know I have like my challenges making stuff. Like what's the biggest challenge for you? Um, always mixing the drums. Like, ah, yeah, so, got you. Uh, uh, it takes me like 
and my last beat took like two three hours just to mix the drums mm. right because mm. yeah and so. what do you and what do you be mixing on uh like as far as speakers or like reference yeah reference it's like i i, I care about how it's gonna slap in the car ah, so got like you, i got, got i got a couple whips so like i got like the old school That's something so. slight a couple whips <laughs> yeah i got the i got the old school so I like I'll, I'll, I'll plug it into like the i got like a fox body so i like plug it into the fox body if the uh the the glass is rattling too much i'm like the sub is a little uh, bit too much okay. i need to rattle in a little okay. bit but if it's gotcha. rattling too much it's yeah. not it's not good then i'll nah. i plug it into like the newer car see if it like yeah. sound right gotcha so yeah. it's all reference for me damn hey, when you because i do this shit too right and um for me my volume goes to max 60 right and is there like a volume where you you go to i, I for me it's 52 i go to level 52 that should sound good on 52 I know the beat's gonna sound good. Do you do you have like a certain level you put yours at? Uh yeah, so like it's like uh like for both of cars it's like three quarters of the way. Uh-huh. Like uh-huh. if it sounds right, yeah. three quarters of the way. And then like I turn it up all the way to the top. Yeah. Just to see if like if it's super any... distorted. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm the same way. I, I do the same thing. I'll export a beat, you know, and like I put it at fifty two. If it's at if it sounds good at fifty two, man, it's gonna sound good everywhere. Yeah. That's how I think about it. And that's what references re- referencing does, you know. If yeah. it sounds good right there, you know it sounds good. A lot of people do like um, NS tens, like Yamaha NS tens. They, they try to like reference on there because it's like super balanced, and it's like, I mean, you can balance on anything, AirPods, um, whatever you listen to all the time. Just listen to it in that, and that's where you get your your best reference, you know, because um, that's where you listen to the most music at. Wherever you listen to the most music at, just you know, uh, reference all your beats on there. Yeah. That's a good tip too. Like a lot of people like me, maybe might not know, but I think a lot of people know at this point. Yeah. yeah. Especially where you listen to music at the most, you know what I mean? Yeah. You said Fox body. That's a Mustang. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. You be drifting or what? No, no, no. I was trying to get it right. I'm trying to, okay. uh, I'm trying to get like everything fixed. Right. I got it for a uh, low price. I okay. actually got it out in Riverside. So okay. I had to drive out to Riverside just to uh, grab it. So you're I a local it. too now. huh? <laughs> <laughs> you told me new hunger or what? No. Yeah. You got that discount. Huh? Damn. They put the rims on there for you shit because you know how hey he put them dayings on like he was from menace to society huh? you was looking in the rear view man with yeah. the computer levels playing you Come know on, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> nah, it's legit bro i appreciate you coming on and stuff like that but um uh do you have like uh what's like a the biggest inspiration for doing the music besides like ninth wonder and like west coast was there like a beat that like did it for you was what, it what like was it? like i want to ask because you said ninth, what was like it before ninth wonder though like what what was it that like made you like was it a, a nice wonder like interview or something like how how that how that worked how like, did you get inspired like I, that I've been listening to West Coast music for my whole life mm-hmm. like I'm I'm probably when I shouldn't have yeah uh, <laughs> like so like mind you I got like aunts uncles yeah uh, slapping sugar free in the car yeah. singing yeah. the lyrics to me yeah yeah and yeah. then like it's uh, letting me sing the lyrics yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, yeah it was it was a love for West Coast music and then I just I love that soul sound at the time mm-hmm. and it's just I was like, I wanted to blend that. I was like, there's, I want to, this is, this is my lane. I can yeah. blend that. Um, and then it's just continued to evolve from there. Yeah. Yeah. All right, bad shit. So then you got FL. How old, at what, 2012? Yeah, yeah, about 2011, 2012. Were you doing like a boom bap? Like, nice, you were doing Nice Wonder, like boom bap stuff? Uh, or were you like, how, were you, how, were, how was it the, the first sound of 4 the 3? How was that? I had some like boom bap drums, but I also placed like claps over them. So mm, it was just mm. kind of this mixed texture. Mm, gotcha. gotcha. Um, I wasn't using many uh, like West Coast perks or anything. It yeah. was more so uh, just like that mixed texture of, yeah. of the two. Okay. And and then um, also like at the time, I want to know like... Uh, like how like I remember my setup at you know, mine was some bootleg setup. I showed him a picture of my setup and he laughed at me. What was like your setup back then? You know, nothing. Like, right? Just yeah, what laptop did you like? Because like, because nah. because I'm like interested because like I that's how I really like the beginning stages of like, all the production. Like yeah. what laptop was it? You know, like what Ooh. was it? Like for me, I had an HP Pavilion something or something yeah, like that. It was that. like HP something. Yeah. yeah. N- n- nothing else. It yeah. was just like s- sound kits I found online. Yeah. Sound kits people were like, yeah, yo, you produce. Man, yeah. Try this one. Bro, that was the struggle, dog. Like getting like sounds and yeah, shit. Like yeah. from, if you didn't know where to go, you know, like <laughs> yeah. I got lucky. I got my homie blessed me with like, you know, some, some, some drum packs at the time from school, but. If I didn't know how to get packs on Reddit and shit, I was yeah, like, I'll, you no. know, bro, I'm not going to use the stock stuff. And set out FL, obviously, by the way, happy 25th birthday to FL Studio. You know, shout <laughs> yeah, out my guys out there. Thanks for nothing. Man. Come on, man. <laughs> Don't be talking about my guys like that, man. You got FL 21? 
We're not gonna talk about that. Nah, we're, wait, we're gonna wait. Yeah, we're gonna wait. Yeah. We're gonna wait. But um, yeah. So how was, squabbles? So like, how was your setup? Did you have like any headphones? Were you even? Were you just doing the laptop speakers? It was like, how just was it? A laptop. It was yeah. just a laptop, and I plug it into like speakers that I had. My yeah. Card yeah. Last time. That was about it. Yeah. Damn. So what's I, the setup like now? Uh, it's uh, I got MacBook, and then I I just do multiple reference checks, just yeah. amounts of reference yeah. checks. So like I'll use the uh, AirPods, I use the different uh cars, I'll play it in different speakers, mm. um, because like yeah, I don't have like studio monitors or anything. Yeah, yeah. gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. Do you gotcha. ever ask someone like um, cause I ask my I tell my brother sometimes too, like do you how does it sound to you? Like you know, do you tell people? No, nah, nah, you keep it kind of low key yourself, huh? Keep it to myself, yeah. and honestly, YouTube is honest. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. yeah, that's they'll true. let you know. Yeah. They will let you know. With that yeah. little fucking no logo face. Yeah, this shit sucks, bro. This yeah. ain't no Dom yeah. Kennedy type video. Uh, yeah, yeah. For real, though, man. Hey, Hunger Force, bring that up too much. I feel like yeah. that shit still gets to you, huh? I'm not, I'm looking for you, dog. Yeah. You know what Find saying? that profile yeah. account. Send him a plaque. Of, send him yeah. the plaque you got, dog. I, we talked about that plenty of stuff. Uh, plenty yeah, of times, yeah, yeah. Stuff, bro. One, uh, one time somebody like really dissed me, and they were like, bro, I'm about to write a diss track about. You like you know rapper like really? I ain't, yeah really? I was like yeah. I ain't do nothing you know yeah. what I'm saying I like uh, they asked for a beat and I sent them the link they're like I'm about to drop a diss track uh, on you because I those. took like two days to respond and they yeah, were yeah, mad yeah. about it I'm like bro what the you know what I mean yeah but, or damn. he's mad that it wasn't free or something oh uh, yeah yeah I'm, always everyone, everyone I'm coming for your that. head bro yeah but, you know what I'm saying all yeah. right so then we transition so you had that old setup right and then um did you have like any midis? I always get. That's what I'm saying. I'm really interested. Like, did, did you buy a, a MIDI keyboard by any chance at that time, or it was just a laptop? Uh, I bought uh actual keyboard. So I was trying to learn the keys. Yeah. And then like I, then I bought a MIDI keyboard, and I was trying to actually make uh act my own sounds and add th- uh, things to it. Um, but it just never panned out for that part. Yeah. Okay. Um, at that time, and I was still more sample based. Yeah. Okay. Did yeah. anyone in your family like play the keys or drum set or guitar uh, or anything like that that taught you anything or no? Nah, no, no one in my family. This is like you, you're on your own, huh? Yeah, on my own. I feel it, man. No one in my family was played any instruments. I didn't get like put on like to play anything. But, um, all right. So then you had that. You were making beats at that time. What what happens now from then? Like what's 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 the next move for you at that 2012 making beats on the laptop? Like what was the what was the next transition for you? Um, honestly, I just made, I continue to make beats, yeah. uh, continue to try to, uh, like focus on building up my craft. Yeah. Um, but I wasn't, honestly, it was more so like, it's like on the side cause like mm. life happened. Yeah. Exactly. You know, yeah, 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 things yeah, are sure. moving. So I'm yeah. like trying to situate myself in life Yeah. and, uh, like, but I'm sending out beats too. So mm. like, I'm, uh, this is, um. Uh, Mixtape era, oh, okay. Yeah, heavy yeah. mixtape yeah, era. Yeah. Dat piff or what? Yeah, dat piff. Yeah, dat yeah, yeah, <laughs> piff. So like, I'm sending out beats to rappers and uh, locally, like, ah, oh, you sound good on this. Mm. Um, and then like, you know, I I just kept uh like grinding for myself, and then uh like I kind of start hearing uh like I heard one of my tracks, and I was like, yo, this that's one of my tracks, and yeah. it was like dope. So yeah, it like yeah, make yeah. me push harder. Yeah. yeah, and that's like where I've been at like the past three four years. Okay, yeah, there bet, you go. Bet. Was it like, uh, I talk about this a lot and stuff too. Like, uh, I always thought my beats didn't sound like correct until yeah. like I heard somebody like yep. really rap on it. Was there somebody that rapped on your beat? Like, even if it was the early stages and kind of like gave you that validity, like, Hey man, like I could really do this. Uh, yeah. So like the, uh, the first person I heard, uh, like for sure, I love what Joey Fast did to the uh, one of the beats that I just uh, like he used. Uh, but before that, it was like Andre Demar. Okay, I made a track called West Side, and that's what I was like under a completely different moniker and everything. Mm. Oh, okay. Um, and then uh, he used it, and I was like, "Yo, this this is what I wanted to make the whole time. Yeah. Like I've got been it. targeting got these West Coast uh, artists, yeah. Yeah. and this is what I wanted to make." Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that little West Coast stamp of approval. Yeah, like, yeah, that, yeah. That, I talk about that a lot and stuff too. It's just like when I, you know what I mean? Like I always try, especially with Trunks too. Like we talk about like the things we did before this and then actually getting the like the accolades that came with like the West Coast shit just because like that's where we're from and like that's what like we enjoy to hear. Like that's what kind of made us like go even harder. It's like, yeah. oh yeah, yeah, that's that shit, bro. I was just thinking about it on the way here, right? Because well, I got the Prequels Enterprise, not to get the head though, but I got the Prequels <laughs> Enterprise. <laughs> Sweater, right and um this is the ain't no love in la one right mm-hmm. and then like uh just uh, when i put it on i was like damn because I, I read the back and i was like dude i really i i you know i don't know if i was getting emotional because the Messi won the world cup but i was like <laughs> i was like damn it was me, emotional bro. me yeah, mike yeah. hunger force yeah. are on this as on this project yeah like three of my my closest homies that are in music yeah and we all like we did this shit like yeah. you know, and, it, and it, it's gonna go down like as legendary you know like 
once once Perico like doesn't stop making music or st- whatever, you know, like I'm like, damn, like you're gonna look back in 30, 40 years and or like not even just that long, but like 10, 15 years and be like, damn, remember that remember that project? You know? Yeah. And it's like us three on it, you know? Yeah, yeah. It's it's hard yeah. enough to be a producer in, in this in this day and age. It's hard enough to be a producer in general to yeah. make be somewhat of success. Yeah. And the fact that you get with the G Perico, like a really well known artist out in LA and you and like a notable artist that was signed to Rock Nation that had all the success and was big and is big still yeah. and continue to do big things, right? Mm-hmm. And like the fact that we got to be a part of that exclusivity mm-hmm. you know like it helps out a lot like that was a big thing for me like i saw I, I i can't stop saying enough praise to mike right yeah yeah, yeah. like but bro that one that one time my collab was down to collab i changed i really did change me bro like some, yeah. some dude that had like twelve thousand subscribers on youtube or eleven thousand at the time and like took the chance out to work with me and like i always praise mike for that you know and the yeah. fact that he helped me out get that jeep rico placement and what now builds that relationship that i have now with him and like I always owe that to 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 Mike, you know, but um, like it's just like, yeah. Shout out to Mike, shout out to G and shit, but uh, yeah, I was putting the the the, the sweatshirt on. I was just thinking about that, and I was like, yeah, damn, yeah. we're really like some staples in the game, and like you, for example, you got that Joey Fats new shit, never, and people are gonna know that, you know. Yeah. And like you're gonna have that name be thrown around for the three. three. What's that yeah. new tag gonna be? Is it gonna be me saying it? <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of the tag, bro, you want to give some backstory on how you got it? Um, or you want to leave it a secret? Uh, it's, it's it's not a sample. Though, so, oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. So, bad, so like bad, bad. I know you're probably heard thinking it's like somebody saying it. Yeah, yeah. it's not a sample. So okay, because bad. it has like a you put like a was there like a you know what I'm not gonna I'm not gonna try to explain it because <laughs> there's like a basketball sound to it right and like the ba- I, it makes it like I've heard your tag soloed out and I'm like there's like it sounds like it's in a basketball game but. But don't give away your secrets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's not a sample. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this was ninth wonder right here. That's Damn, why. Yeah, that's the tenth legit, wonder, bro. Well, hey, uh, you know, uh, speaking on all that stuff, like, um, I know you're a busy man and stuff like that. For all the producers out there, like, what's like your schedule like? Like, how do you make beats? Like, uh, what's your, like is all your free time kind of devoted to that? Do you just get kind of like, hey, man, today I'm gonna get into a vibe. You know what I'm saying? Do you order like certain foods? Mm-hmm. Do you, you know what I'm saying? Have a little drink. What is it? You know what Saying, like yeah how do you get into you your don't shit? explain your your job or anything but yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, like uh, your schedule. just uh wake up and you know uh wake up get dressed take a shower get to it that's yeah. pretty much it and i like dedicate 30 minutes in the morning okay. to like really try to uh knock something out um like if it's a short idea if i can do the whole uh beat then i'm trying to make something every day mm-hmm. and then when i come back then you know if it's a solid idea i follow up on that idea yeah if not then i get to another idea gotcha um and then uh like honestly the weekend is where i kind of put it together mm-hmm. yeah. so dedicating like a good portion of time on my weekend where i can put those ideas together and then release them okay what's what's a friday what's a saturday morning like um saturday mornings like um uh, looking at the stuff I made throughout the week, yeah. Uh, trying to get it uh, mixed right so I can just release it. That's pretty okay. much it. Yeah. And do you bounce out like a lot of references and listen to them like throughout the week? And then when you know, like, hey, Saturday, yeah. when Saturday comes, like, I'm gonna focus on this one, not this one. Like, I can do this to this. It's a lot of, is a lot, a lot of bounces and stuff like that. A, a lot of bounces. Gotcha, yeah, yeah. gotcha, gotcha. gotcha. Yeah, same, I always get a reference shit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, same. Because sometimes I just bounce, like, I have so many ideas on the computer, I just bounce them all out. And then, like, while I'm doing stuff, like, I'm just listening to them, like, oh, yeah, I should put that there. Or that's wrong. This is, you know what I'm saying? This is right. Okay. I got a question too. So, you know, an FL. How it tells you like how much time you've worked on a project. Do you guys know that, right? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I never check it though. Yeah, yeah. but like, what's your guys' longest time you made a beat? Like, not because, for example, like one time I closed my laptop and obviously I wasn't making the beat, so yeah. it's like. But for me, I think that my longest that I ever like made a, that I had a session open, like was actually working on it actively, was like four hours. Oh. Yeah, definitely longer than that for sure. Is that is that's including the mix or no? Yeah, everything. Yeah. Like, okay. like where you export it and it's done. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, right. mine's like four, but I'm saying like four hours in one session. So like, I might have came back the next day to finish it. It might have taken me like six oh, hours technically. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. So like, yeah. what's what do you think like the longest you've had? Uh, mine's like six hours. If, it, if bro, if the beat don't sound good in six yeah. hours, uh, it's it's probably gonna stop. You know, probably you, like for me, you know, what I'm saying not to cut anybody off. Yeah, probably yeah. like. 10 12 like yeah, i've yeah, had right. like battles with shit yeah, where it's yeah, like yeah. the bass you know what i'm saying yeah. like if i hear one clip i'm just like bro mm. come on like i gotta i gotta figure it out yeah and whether if i have to bounce out and stuff like that there's one thing that's coming out soon you know what i mean like uh i can't tell what it is mm. but it's coming out soon and like 
it's a lot of us and i've battled that beat like a lot you know what i mean shout out to my dog and shit but it's uploaded but yeah like that beat took me a long long time just because the drums were like super punchy super a lot of bass and then yeah. like there's three different bass lines plus it's like this crazy like meaty ass lead and like there was one part like for some reason it would just it would just clip and i don't know why but like that one took me like a long long time like yeah. at least 10 hours and finally like i just had to you just got to like hold your breath and just go. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, like yeah. hopefully no, nobody notices like I do, you know, because like when you do it, like, you know, all the imperfections. So like you're you hear listening so yeah, out. Yeah, you're yeah, hearing yeah. for all the imperfections, but for the, the common person, they probably don't hear it, but at least like 10 hours. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think yours is? Uh, of recent times. Of recent times. Yeah. They don't got to be like 10 years ago. <laughs> uh, probably around six. Uh, like, so yeah. Yeah, it's it's mo and it's mostly the mix. Like so, mm -hmm. I have the idea down. Yeah, everything's good, and mm -hmm. then I'm just trying to go around and trying to uh, reference check it yeah. with the mix. So yeah, about six. Uh, is that like okay with the six hours and the ten hours, and then like how many hours you put in? Like, did that beat actually do numbers? Was it like actual placement? Like what whatever happened to the beat? Uh, it's still up. It's like new stuff. <laughs> okay, got, new you, stuff. got you. So it's a recent thing. Yeah, new stuff I'm taking longer with. So, like, okay. uh, the older stuff, it was just like, yeah, uh, if it gets to three hours, I'm like, nah, I'm getting rid of this. Gotcha. Like, That's what I think about, too. It's so, like, you got you to gotta catch that pocket. If you like it that yeah. enough, you'll finish yeah. it. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, speaking of that, like... um. Like you have quite a bit of placements. Do you have a favorite placement? Is there a record you've done that's like your favorite record? Not like not even including like the the earliest one you have. Like what's one of your favorite joints that you did so far? Um again, uh just appreciate Joey Fats for every beat that he used. This mm. that's this every beat that he used. I was like, uh I I I didn't like when he used it and mind you, I've been listening to his music since like uh since around that time so like 2011 2012 mm, okay. so i've been i've been listening for a while um so it's uh when he started using the beats and he used one as like a single that he put out and did a video to it yeah i was like yeah. yeah this 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 and that was on something that was completely different it yeah. didn't sound like nothing else i no. put out yeah um it um like it wasn't it didn't have like this uh big west coast lead it didn't yeah. have a synth bass it was more it was more like kind of uh it was luxury and yeah, i was yeah, like yeah, yeah and, he, and he brought that feel into it and yeah. i was like this gave me confidence like keep going yeah gotcha right? gotcha yeah. yeah that video yeah. was dope man that's like one of my honestly one of my favorite records when it wasn't on the project i was like damn but it was definitely like some rick ross nipsey hustle type of vibes and then like he has like the horse and it's like by the pool that's yeah, what you're yeah, talking yeah. about yeah, yeah, yeah that yeah, was yeah. clean bro i fuck with that shit tough yeah i, I was what, what is, what's your favorite i mean you're gonna say you're gonna say the still blooming huh mm. besides still blooming what's your favorite song that I've done? Yeah. Well, Man. Your favorite placement? Uh, no, I don't think it's even still booming. Oh, okay. Uh, I think my favorite placement is probably, if it's not first place with me and you, maybe closer with Diamond Ortiz and Cl uh, Clyde Carson, or uh, probably Won't Go. I can't, I can't even cap mm. you. The well, Won't Go is the one won't go really did for me. Won't yeah. Go is Single for the Summer is like yeah. the two hits. Oh, me. dude, I forget about Single for the Summer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I like them all for different reasons, yeah, like your kids yeah. and shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you can't leave one out and stuff, yeah. but like, uh, yeah, I love them all, but... Yeah, the single for the summer for sure. That's the, because like even we talked about that before. Like yeah. that was the last record to go on that. So like I wasn't even gonna be considered to even be on the record. So mm. like when I made the beat, like I literally sent it to Mike and then by I sent it to Mike on third. I think I sent it to Mike on Wednesday. And then the album came out on Thursday. And like I was like, I'm gonna go listen to it. And it was yeah. like, bro, it's on there. Yeah. Like, damn, they just turned this in. So that's probably one of my favorites yeah. as well, bro. Yeah. That's sick. Well, we we good on time right now? Yeah, we're good. We got okay, five minutes, six minutes. I got another question I want to ask you actually. So when so how did you, because a lot of producers are gonna, uh, might listen to this and be like, how did you even get like to work with Joey Fats? How did you get the opportunity to send them the beats? Like, how would that go down? Uh, like, I'd been making his beats, his type beats yeah. for like a year beforehand. Mm, okay. Um, so like, I'd, I've been listening to like all of the, uh, like his recent projects. Yeah. Um, and then like, I, I was like, yo, he sound dope on this so I'd label it his type beat. Um, anything that he, I felt like he sound dope on, I just like label it his type beat upload it yeah um and then uh like i saw those start to like actually those are like my like the highest on my channel so it's got as, you got you and you realize you're laying and shit yeah oh uh, yeah and then like he he just i guess reached out it was just like hey i, I put it out into the world 
Mm. And then it came back. So Hell yeah. that's the uh, best feeling, huh? When they come to you and shit. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. how it yeah. dope. Like, damn, you got that dope. What's up, bro? You know what I'm yeah. saying? <laughs> hey, send me this, you know? Yeah. That's legit. He, he, so he picked that he picked that particular one for you, saying No, so I put it out into the world and like he hit me uh saying like, Hey, uh like your production, uh send some beats. Oh, and I just okay, kept okay. it was like uh I sent them a good amount, so it was like uh, Yeah, yeah. Yeah, good amount. So and then uh he chose uh he has some ideas to use some other things yeah and then uh he told me what type of vibe he was on like that luxury type vibe yeah, like yeah, you yeah. know and then i was like i got it and then uh, i made that beat like that was probably like the quickest beat that i made oh shit. Mm. yeah so i just because it's it's fairly simple it's yeah, like yeah, just yeah. chords and some strings and yeah, everything yeah, yeah. and then like uh i just sent it to him and then like i heard back and i was like yeah 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 i felt like he I, as soon as i made it i was like yeah this the one yeah <laughs> i never got that feeling before i was yeah. like this the one hey when you approach like a luxurious type of beat or even like in that kind of like uh that space you're trying to get like what's something you bring up like an fl like what's some go-to's for like four to three um as far as like sounds yeah sounds drums vsts like what's some go-to's for it you know what i'm saying you don't gotta give out too much sauce you nah, feel nah, me nah. but you know what i'm saying <laughs> Something that people can relate to? Uh, just like uh, long extended chords. Uh, so those, okay. those are pretty much just like minor ninth chords. Okay. Um, and it was just extended and uh, always got to go with the strings. Mm. Um, Analog Lab is great for both of those things. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Um, and uh, uh, for, as far as the drums, they just got to, uh, like I went with like a shorter snare. Okay, um, gotcha. So like a, a shorter snare and uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Mm -hmm. And then I the I hit a like I put it like a eight oh eight underneath the uh, kick okay. instead of like the synth bass. So it was more gotcha. like it was I felt like luxury. Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. Arturia, hit us up, you know. Yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, and then cymbals and crashes got out cymbals and yeah. crashes. Oh, yeah, for yeah, sure, yeah, for yeah. sure. Hell yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, dope, shit. Fucking um like uh when you made the beat, like did anything change differently or is like what he spits on is exactly or actually uh what's the song what's the record called for people to go check out? I'm I'm bad at remembering. Oh no, worries. I ain't me too. I'm bad. Hey, I can't I can't remember what yeah. the name of the record that I made yeah, you know two why? days ago. You got too I'm being absolutely. You got too many. You got too you know many. Know many of them. I, I can't remember the names of records. Big shot. I'm, I'm looked sorry. like Junk Town. No, all right. Well, uh, what I was gonna say is like, uh, did the beat change at all? Was there any structurally anything done, or like what you put out is like what he wrote on? Mm. It's pretty much what he wrote on. Yeah, oh, okay, yeah, damn, yeah. yeah, I love yeah. that shit. Yeah. First time go. Was the mix any different? Did it sound better or did it sound less? Did you like, damn, I? Like I wish they didn't roll off at sixty hertz or something like that. Uh, the mix was uh, it seemed very similar. Uh, gotcha. Yeah. yeah, I probably had like the uh, the probably did roll off some of it because the bass was probably like hitting a little bit more. Mm. Gotcha. Okay. Um, but it was pretty much the same. Oh, did you send that? track outs or just the MP3? Um, it was two track, I believe. So, oh, okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Gotcha. It's like a wave, maybe. Yeah. 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 Okay. Legit. Hey, let me tell you. Uh, let me ask you something too. Do you like put like uh? The BPM, do you put like the key inside the name of the title and stuff like that? Or you just send it to, you just send it what it is? I send it what it is. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I need yeah. to do that more. Yeah. Yeah. That's Engineers cool. figure that shit out. I'm come sorry. On, I'm saying, Tap the tempo. Hey, my engineer Transient. wants to know what the tempo is. Yeah. You know come saying, on, bro. Is you that your just, engineer? Just is that quit. your cousin? You just know what I mean? Just quit. Yeah. Just quit. Yeah. Just quit, bro. If you can't figure out the BPM, I don't know what to tell you. Yeah. Unless it's like 91.36663427. Like, yeah. Fucking no, no, ultra. No, 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 no. Yeah. Ultra. I just talked yeah. that full yesterday, too. I hit that full too yesterday. Yeah. Day. Hey, you looked it up right now. Uh, what's the, what's nah, the record called? Nah, 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 nah. Did you, did you find it? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, Joey no, Fats, yeah. Bright Lights. Bright, Bright Lights. Light. Go I check that out. Find it, yeah. uh, one of his best videos, to be honest. I thought the video was crazy when it came out and shit. Like, I was... That shit was dope, bro. Like, it reminded me of, like, some Nip shit. It reminded me of, like, some, some raw shit. And I was like, damn, some real Long Beach shit. Speaking of Long Beach, bro, are you originally from Long Beach? Or, mm -hmm. like, uh, where are you, where'd you come up at? Um, my family's from Compton. Uh, I'm, I lived in Hartthorne and Compton. Okay. In my childhood. And then... I just was in Long Beach, so like for the past like two years. Okay. Um. So that definitely helped me get the vibe of like what he was looking for. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. What's it out? Well, what's it like out there? Is like good uh, restaurants? Y'all go out to eat and stuff like quite frequently. I was on, I was on the uh, north side, so like it was uh north this, north north. Uh, yeah, mm. yeah yeah yeah. Artesia Norazaba. I was like okay, so yeah. I'm an Artesia. You know, what I'm saying? that's one yeah. of my favorite Vince Staples beats of all time, bro. That north north. Yeah yeah. yeah. Did any of you guys know who made that beat or no? Nah, I have uh, no idea. Clams Casino. Clams Casino made that. I remember that because I I, I looked it. Up multiple yeah. times, and I, that's the one that 
I got spinning. Yeah, yeah, same thing. Yeah, same thing to me too, bro. Like I remember hearing that shit and just like that one little off timbale. Yeah, ah, yeah. oh, dude, that's that shit. You heard that shit? Or yeah, 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 that's that shit, bro. I fuck with that, bro. Man, um, you know, I think about all the time. Like, um, do you guys really like? Because I I never really do this, but um, when you listen to like a song and like. Oh, who made that? You know, like yeah, you, go, yeah. you go. I never really go yeah. into it and like look, yeah. look at it. You know, like I don't really do that. Well, when this came out, like uh, it was like you kind of had to do your research just because, like you know, the production credits like weren't the best. Yeah, I was yeah, yeah. asking right now, like, yeah, hey, yeah. do you know who made it and shit? Because yeah. like, man, I remember that shit was fucking popular. Even like uh, Vince Staples, I think I played this uh, this dude last time. Just like that blue suede. Remember when that blue suede came out? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That was him, bro. That Ooh. was my shit, dog. Yeah, yeah. I remember that. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I definitely was bumping that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that ate away, bro. <laughs> yeah, but um, that's why I, I think about it all the time. I'm like, damn, like, what if like when I was younger and I like hit these fools up or like you know like you could have missed I missed out on like some opportunity maybe or something. Yeah, like, yeah. that I think about. But at that time, like I don't, I just like the song and I never really go and think about like the credits or anything like that. And that's why I feel like now too, it's like because some people like on 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 uh, like for example, me and like G's G's album that or uh, EP right. They uh, a lot of people in the comments were like, "Man, him and Dupree always do some fire." I was like, "Bro, come on!" I, I, don't get me wrong, I love Dupree as my dog, right? Yeah, but yeah. like, nah, like this not Dupree is, you know, like they don't yeah. really go into like, gotcha. search for it. A lot of people don't. I feel like go go back and like search. Like for example, it's really hard to 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 like find out who produced for Drake and shit. Like, oh, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Like, because yeah, there's like yeah. seven producers on one beat. Yeah, you know, yeah. it's it's just crazy. Yeah, uh, even when like um, the Drake stuff and stuff like that, like when I came back into the game, like and I realized what everybody was doing and was like, well, there's like seven producers yeah. on here. Like now I get it. Well, like Bro. how how are you going to compete with Drake's producers when there's seven, you know, what I mean? exactly. seven of the best. You exactly. Know? It's like, you got Cardo on here. You got Boy Wonder. You got Giant Giuliano. Like, how do you compete with yeah, that? Exactly. It's just like, well, you got to get in. How that, you fit that, in? That's yeah. exactly. Bro, when I, I I think it was a genius behind the beat. You're, yeah. Do you watch that shit too? Yeah. 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 So, I, right. I watched I watched those and I forgot who said it. Every I swear to God, like every single one of those foods have always say uh, at least like 90 percent of them always say it's a collab with someone like someone else right yeah, yeah they yeah, sent yeah. them to chords yeah. a loop or something yeah it's always another person and that's what sparked me and was like bro i gotta just start hitting up other foods and just work because if you really want to make it happen you need those networks you need those connections you need you know you just gotta go down to get relationships in the game and you have to you have to just you have to collab it's like you have to yeah. like, don't get me wrong you don't have to and you can do it on your own you definitely yeah. can but it just helps out a lot. It makes it a, the process a lot smoother, a lot easier, and you can like reach out a lot of different people a lot easier. Yeah, and, like, well, this, we t- yeah, yeah. This is what I want to bring to you is like I know you you be sending loops out and shit all the time too, right? And like you and like I always tell I tell us all the time, bro, send me some shit, man, because this was this was sends it exactly the way I want it. <laughs> sends me the bro the loop, the key, the BPM, and he has all the stems, Stem for links, it. Yeah, all the yeah, stems. Yeah. A lot yeah. of people will get mad about. I mean, not get mad, but maybe it's just my my. My uh, preference. I like the stem. I like that. But a lot of people maybe like, for example, Foley when he sends like us loops or something like, you know what I'm talking about? He has like the one, the one, uh, the one file. Yeah, I don't. And we like talked that. about it before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't. But like, like I like the stems instead. Yeah. So that's why I really like working with four. And yeah. I've talked about it before too. But um, yeah, like, how did you get into like, what made you like send beats out, like send loops out? Like, what was the shit inspired you? To do um, that? it was honestly just producers I admire. So yeah. it's only a couple producers who I've sent stuff out to begin with. Yeah. I like a small small people a small circle of people yeah. that i sent stuff out to um so i definitely like her uh what she did with joey fats and i was like we uh we on this kind of same lane mm. uh let me see if i can collab with you and mind you i had like like a hundred subscribers at that time <laughs> yeah, it was yeah. real new it mm-hmm. was like yeah and the fact that you even uh picked something up and was like yeah i could work with this mm. i appreciate it yeah and the same thing with you i heard like what you were doing with g perico and before that i yeah, even followed yeah, yeah. your page and i was like yeah. i sent something before uh and then uh honestly it didn't get used and then i was like man i gotta go harder and i just i just kept what? sending stuff yeah. yep you're telling me i didn't use something you sent me you yeah. didn't uh like you didn't use it at the first time but i was like i i get why yeah, yeah. like it took me mm. that it took me like you the moment nah nah nah. <laughs> nah, 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 nah 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 i've used <laughs> everything force ever sent me yeah. i feel like i have i feel like i have no nah, so it, you didn't use it at the time and i was wondering like mm. uh what, what do i need to do so like every time like something's used and not used and how it's used mm. i learned something gotcha. so like i learned like hey oh 
you uh you added the bass to this or oh you added a lead here mm. or oh you stopped it right here and you left the space and you put like a perk or something mm. i'm like okay so whether it's used or not used and how it's used i'll just continue to learn so i'm just kind of student of the game and just yeah. following uh like how people are uh actually i collab with using the tracks mm. bro that that's just, that I, I can't i can't tell you what's enough dog collabing is so important i feel like yes. you learn so much dog like like for example, four will like when if four sends me uh something, he learns from me from like maybe like the way I might add something right. But I mm-hmm. also learn something from when you send me something, like the either your chord progression, either like the your strings or your or your or your um like the uh oh my god the little like that one beat we just pulled up the, with the plucks and all that like little stuff like that can add like oh, okay he uses this and that and, like I can start adding this shit because I like that sound and yeah you get to start picking out little stuff that and I talk about this all the time you just start picking up on game on any little form of production that you can add and just like you can build up your arsenal so much you know you become like i don't know you just become like a i don't know, explain it, but you pick up a lot of games I'm trying yeah, to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah yeah a lot yeah. of game from collabing a lot a lot and like that's the that's the thing i talk about um i want to say too is like when you send me stuff like it's not i don't even have to use every single thing you send me like i might just use just the chords one time you know or like just that's it because that that for that at that time when i open that open when i open that up I really like that corporation that sparked an idea for me. Yeah. Like there's this one beat. It's um it's a uh, Cardo and, and Polyester the Saint. And oh my god, what is it? And it was G Perico. And it starts off with just the chords. You talking about the actual beat or the actual song? No, it's a song. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. What's the it called? One, uh, not not yeah, Get G-way. Mine. Is Get Mine? Get Mine. Is yeah. Get I'm Mine, right? Get, no, 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 no. You're talking about the one on the song G Way. On G Way, yeah, yeah. Not G Way. G Worthy. Uh, G Worthy. You're talking about the one on G Worthy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it starts off with just it's um, yeah. and I'm like, bro. That when I hear that, I'm like, yeah. damn, that's so fire! Like, yeah. I would have never done the chords like that. Like, mm, and then, yeah. and it's just like, <laughs> go listen to that. Go listen to "Get Mine" by uh, G uh, I'm on G Worthy. I'm gonna get mine. I'm gonna get mine. Yeah, listen that's to, one listen, of my, to, uh, listen to the start of that. Yeah. And then, like, when I listen to that, I want to make that beat. Like, that's yeah. just that's, it's so it's so good to me. And, like, yeah, that's one of my wife's favorite records, bro. And every time I hear it, I'm like, hey, you got this in your playlist? On, like, dude. that's that shit, bro. Like, uh, we just heard like the at other least day, your wife likes that song. Huh? Yeah, yeah, at least they. You know yeah, saying? at least that one. Shit. We're coming for you, bro. Nah, you know nah, I'm, I'm, saying? I'm not saying nothing. Nah, nah, but uh, especially with the labs you have sent me and stuff too. Like, uh, there's some labs that you sent me, and I'm like, um, even the ones that we've done, I'm like, well, I feel like that's like a layup. But I always try to approach the ones like where like damn what was he what was he doing you know what i'm saying like i want to do the ones that i i wouldn't do you know what i'm saying like i try to like challenge myself and like fortunately like for us like those ones always come out like good i'm like damn like because there's some ones you send me like oh yeah yeah, yeah. like i can see me doing that but this one i don't mm. know if i can do that and i just spend like hours like you know what i'm saying like all right let me do this let me do that and even if, like uh one thing that i learned from you too was like um just the hats you know what i'm saying like how you would do hats and it was like all right he does hats like this mm. way and like there's repeats mm. and then you know there's some panning mm. going on and velocity i'm like all right that's dope so like i'll keep that and like i'll see like where the waveform is at i'm like damn all right cool like i can you know what i'm saying like i have those bones and i kind of like put my sounds and like how i would do it but every time you send me a lap i always try to take the one that's a uh, the path with most resistance, you know what I'm mm. saying? Not the least resistance path. Like, all right, like I take them all. Cause yeah. you never know what it's gonna sound like. <laughs> you never know what it's gonna sound like. Because, well, sometimes I do that too. Yeah, but it's just like you know, you know how that goes. You know what I mean, bro? Because this is this is the way I think about it. And like, we've talked about this before. Yeah, I think on or maybe off camera. I don't remember, but when people send you stuff, I want to, I want to, I want to send it back right away. Like my goal is to get it as back to you as fast as I can, but also make the quality worth it, right? But like, yeah. I want to make it. Cause th- then you know like oh fuck trunks about it you know like oh yeah. shit he made this beat and all that like that last one you sent me I only I've only made two so far but before right that yeah. uh, the stems you sent me so like I'm gonna work I think it just came out today one of our beats or maybe or maybe the other day I don't remember but Damn, check them um, out bro and uh so like we like that's that's why I think like um I really like when people send me stuff but I wanna I wanna get it back like the next day or two days mm-hmm. later you know so that because I know how it feels too because I've sent out bro this shit right here. This right here? <laughs> this dude right here. What? I don't even get me started, dog. You might, <laughs> you might have to break up the fight, you know, I remember like I remember like I remember how I remember how it was, right? You send out you send out loops, you send out stems, you send out collabs, they don't use them, and you're like, no. Oh, I might have to end it right now. You know, like damn, I might just I might just call it quits. And like that, I like so that's I know how it feels to get to like send loops down and producers don't use them or send beats down and artists don't use them. So like when it does happen, 
it makes you feel i don't know it makes you feel like oh shit like he really fucks with it you know like yeah it's kind of like an artist getting it on your beat it's like a producer using your loop it's like the same kind of thing i feel like for you sure feel, you feel like happy that they use it and then you feel good uh yeah i just don't take anything personal so like I, if y'all don't use it or somebody i send it to don't use it i just kind of think about like why didn't they use it like mm. what space are they in uh did it really fit like was it really what i thought it was to yeah. begin with mm. and like was it even eq properly like mm. they, so I, I just go back and like look at it so i'm just like learning from whatever happened uh so i feel like it's good to always just like you know kind of put yourself out there send it and if it doesn't happen it doesn't happen it might not be the right time yeah yeah i always because you know how i download it and i have it always on my downloads at all times so i've never like deleted anything because you never no. know you never know when you know what? I'm gonna make. I want to make beats today, but I, I you know, there's those the beat block times or like whatever. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. And, you, and then you boom. Like, let me open up that four to three, mm -hmm. uh, like Packy sent. You know, and like stuff like that. And I think like that's what's good about getting loops from producers. It's like it's always that like when you want to make beats, but you're just in that beat block mode or something happens. It's always something to fall back on. You can still make. You can still make beats that day. Rely you know, on be productive it. Yeah, yeah. and stuff like that. So. Yeah, that's a good I, thing about getting loops. And, and I shit. know I take a long time, but like, uh, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I or just he doesn't don't... use them at all. No, I do like, use. What you mean? What good. you mean? It's we good. going up, it's bro. Good. Yeah, yeah no, nah, I just be like, uh, when I get shit too, like, uh, I try to put it out, and then like, even if I have like a rough sketch, like I always like to send the rough sketch, but mm. I just like, man, I just want to like the same way you were feeling about that. Like, I just wanted to just fucking, you know what I mean? Like, damn, that shit went crazy. You know, like, I just like having that response. Like, I don't want to have any other response except for that, because like, that's like what I'm trying to achieve. And if I'm not achieving that, then yeah, on to the next thing. You know what I mean? Like, it has to be at that level. Yeah. I, I think at this point, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. Nah. Billboard 34 and shit. You, gotta, you, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, you, you see it on uh, number four on uh, top 20 hip hop albums of all the years. Oh, hip hop, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's no big dope. deal. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Check me out on my YouTube. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing no, I'm is that is that gonna be on your plaque too? Like number four on the top 20? Or? Nah, no, 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 no. On the next one, I'll probably do it. It'll be like number one, you know what I'm saying? In the entire country. Uh, here we go. You know what I'm saying? Still booming part here two. Here we go. And you focus this guy for it. Featuring J. Cole and Drake. You know, as you said, that Modelo. Huh? Hey, right. shout, out, uh, shout out my dog. He brought the Modelos. Mm. He brought the Yerbas. You yep. feel me? He came out here and blessed us with some gifts and shit, bro. Mm. I can't even thank him enough, dog. And I told him too. I told him off camera. We're gonna make sure we can. Obviously, after this, we we'll probably make we'll make a few beats. You know, a few exclusive for the three oh, beats. Ah, huh? bro. And then a little, still, a few still, Grammy yeah. award winning nominations yeah. and beats. You know, of the year. Well, speaking of loops and all that stuff, like we talked about loops right now and you sending stuff out, like have you ever thought about putting like a loop pack out? Um, like how um, how much of your time is devoted to like loops and how much is actually devoted to beats? Uh, that's definitely a goal for like 2023. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to get to a place where I felt like, yeah, this is it. Um, like I, I got the mixing down. I don't want to mm -hmm. send, I don't want to make anything that I later regret or, or I don't feel like I could still put my stamp up of approval on mm. so when i put put it forth i want to make sure it's quali quality and quantity mm -hmm. um and i want people to be able to feel like it's just drag and drop like it's just it's something that you can easily like flip yourself mm -hmm. or uh artists can immediately hop on so gotcha. it's definitely a goal for 2023 hey man that's where the bread's at yeah you know and i want i want to give a, a a quick tip or maybe a, a theory out there of what you can do for your loop kids, all right? Okay. I just thought about this. Okay. And don't make fun of me. This shit's all corny. Right. Your first one could be called free throw. And then your second one could be jump shot. And your third one could be four to three. Oh, uh, I get or you. Or something like yeah. that. No, I, I definitely get you because I'm not going to say too much. I already, ah, I already okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Okay. I, 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 I got, I got you. Something like that, right? Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. See? I'm thinking, I'm thinking like that. Hey, and if you do it, obviously we're going to be supporting you. We'll shout it out when you drop it. You know? Oh, so for sure. We're copping that for sure, bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're going to definitely like build around that shit for real. Come on, man. Hey, when you do loops and stuff like that, is there like a certain BPM you like to work in? Like uh, going forward with like this new 92. loop kit? You know, 92. Yeah, it's 92. 92 uh, if it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. You what about know. 184? Uh, yeah, so, yeah. I do, <laughs> so, uh, I do, I do, I do, I do double, double time. time. I do yeah, double yeah. time. So technically it's 184, but I just yeah, always yeah, yeah. say it's 92. But I know I know it's technically 184. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then like 90, uh, if I'm like making uh, uh, something a little bit slower, smoother. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, and I got, I like, I make, uh, car, uh, currency type beats. I make like different, like more soulful type beats and I'll drop it down to like 140 or 70. Yeah. Um, just to kind of get that soul vibe going. Gotcha. Um, so, uh, those are kind of the BPMs that I use mostly. Do you, do you work, um, more in halftime or like 
and one like in the I don't even know what the other uh, one's called. Not double, double time. Is it double, double time? time? Yeah, yeah double it's, time. it's yeah. pretty much all double time. It's all just right. easier to roll the That's hats how you do and it? everything. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You do it for you, me. You mostly work in double time? Mostly in double yeah. time. Yeah. I don't do that's crazy. I I used to be just like that. I only did double time. Only. Mm. I used to do I used to do like Suicide Boys type beats and shit ah, at like yeah, 120. Yeah, yeah. At 120 was always like a Suicide Boys tempo. When you put that one, two, you know, the hi hats. Yeah. Just, yeah, yeah just and I was like, like all right, this is how I do yeah. it. But now, and then like, I don't know what it was. As soon as I started doing like Letter June shit, I just went down to 90. Like, mm-hmm. I just stopped. I just do half time now. I don't do like double time at all anymore. So any, even if you send me a sample that's like 180, I'm going to put it down to 90 and touch yeah, yeah. the sample out and shit like that. But that's it. And I was, I was going to ask you too, did you figure out how to do the, the zip loop package thing? Uh, yeah, I did figure out how to do the zip loop package. Oh. I feel like I... I gotta actually send it to somebody to see if it works, but like I feel like I got it now. Did you bring your laptop? Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll, we'll figure it, it out. If you yeah, got yeah. It. yeah. I actually, I, like, I could teach you how to do it too if you want to figure out if it works. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, because um, I, I, I was like that. I, I really like that. I really like the FLP shit. I really do. I think it's dope. It just sucks that you have to have the right VSTs. Yeah. Uh, like, you yeah, have yeah, to have yeah. the same VSTs. Yeah. Um, like, um, well, that's why I like when people send me like the reference with the MP3 too, because like they'll send me the reference with the MP3s. So I'm like, oh, okay, this is what you're trying to go. Like, uh, maybe that EP and I was wrong. And mm-hmm. I can put my own in it, and it's just like, all right, well, that was cool, but like this is something that you wouldn't do. You know, or what I mean? if, if people send like the MIDI, yeah, well, yeah. because well, like, when they send the loop package, like the VST won't pop up, yeah, but the MIDI will be in there. Yeah. So it's like, all right, I'll and put my own, switch, yeah, 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 and then like I can hear the reference of the MP3, like, okay, that sounds good, but let me switch that up. But sometimes yeah. it's like, bro. What's the piano? Or, like I or, need to know which or, one exactly. Or, yeah. or when you when you zip it, you can just uh consolidate that piano so it's still yeah, the waveform yeah, yeah. in there. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So you don't gotta have to have the actual Yeah. Because like for example, like there's some weird BST you might use and then like some, the person you're sending to might not have it. Mm-hmm. So you can just uh consolidate or whatever, clip uh export it into there, right? And then now yep. it's now now the waveform's in there, you can just delete the VST yeah. or and keep the MIDI from it, but like that's a good way too to send uh if you want to still send FLPs out. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. I think FLPs is like I really fuck with it. I can't speak highly enough on it. Yeah, I like the FLP a lot. I, I mean loops are cool too, but the FLPs is something different. You get you get like the like when Mike when Mike sends me FLPs and he does like the drums, I'm like, damn, you fucking sick ass fuck. Like you sent me the last one we did was the FLP, right? Yeah. Yeah, it was like one like I love that shit because it was just like one simple thing, like put the bass mm-hmm. up one, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? It was just like two different renditions. Because yeah. you know you could do like Eight bars or four bars, and yeah, it's just like, let me just change that yeah, last yeah. little four and just put a double right here. Yeah. It's so much easier, you yeah. know what I'm saying? But like at the exact same time, just you, you can to, fine tune and tweak yeah, everything yeah. from you that. You have to just trust the person. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I think that I think that's, I think um, a lot of people should, a lot more people should do that. Yeah. What about like FLP? Uh, I might be giving I might be giving away too much sauce right now, like some for All some right. producers. Chill, what chill, about, chill, chill, chill. No, I'm just kidding. What about like a FLP uh, pa- like a uh, producer pack? What do you mean? Yeah. Like 10 loop. Instead of making loop kits, you make like FLP kits. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Like starter kits. Cool. That shit's sick. But that's, we're going to have to cut that out. Nah, 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 nah. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because I bought like a few packs and stuff like that too. Oh, yeah, FLPs? Like, not FLPs, but uh, there'll be like, um even like I sent the homies before and stuff like uh master chains, you know what I'm saying? Oh, Just off my yeah, master yeah, yeah. chains, FLPs. Like, you, you know. That's another thing you could put up too if you want to give that out, but yeah. I don't know. That's but then cool. you have to have the you have to have the VSTs too. When you hear it, it's worth it. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. but, but it's, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's but, like, damn, I gotta get that. You know what I mean? But like, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I guess because yeah. if they load it up, they gotta buy like all these plugins. It's like, yeah, damn, I gotta drop two racks for this. You know? It's like that's damn. true. That's true. That's true. But that's that's a good thing too. Is a uh, little um. Well, they ha- a lot of people have like free ones out there, but like, yeah, yeah, like yeah. Uh, all stock plugins. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I've thought about doing one of those as well too. Like just let me do all stock plugins, but sometimes it just. It's too complicated, yeah. bro. You need you more than that. You, you need a combination of a lot of different yeah. things, and just like you know, what I mean, just for it to sound like uh, competitive. Yeah. Know? Yeah. Yeah. All right, Foro. Do you have any? Do you want to say? Do I, are you itching to say a question? <laughs> are you itching? Do you want to ask us something? Um, I got like producer questions, like so, like uh, yeah, just uh, like um, uh, just from the producer side of things, like um, uh, just like favorite things to use specifically, like uh. I've been producing uh like I've I've been keeping my bass in uh, uh mono, but mm-hmm. I've been switching it sometimes and I've been uh going to stereo type stereo and it hits a little bit harder. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I was asking y'all like what what do you feel like uh when do you go to stereo? If you go to stereo, uh do you mostly keep your bass in mono? Uh, like what do you use? What are some things that you use on your bass to try to get it to really hit? Because like, gotcha. I feel like that's the that's the soul of a West Coast beat. The lead is necessary, yeah. but the soul is the base. It's got, for it's sure, got to for hit. Sure. 
You want to go first? No, the bass master can go All first. Right. For me, um, I don't know. I, especially with the Bay Area stuff, I find like the Bay Area stuff is not in mono. I feel like the Bay Area mm-hmm. stuff is definitely in stereo and it's a different sort of vibe. I feel like it's a two different sort of vibe. Um, I really don't like to put my bass in mono because like I feel like when I put my bass in mono, I like to, I like to have my bass just sit where it's sitting at from the get-go. When I flip it to mono... All of a sudden, you're dealing with clipping issues. You're dealing with, you know what I'm saying, stereo image issues where, like, the ex- the middle is just taking up too much room. You know what I'm saying? Like, I like to leave everything, like, where it's at. Sometimes I'll flip stuff and I'll feel, I'll feel like, you know what I mean, like, the highs can go to the stereo. The punch can stay in the middle and the lows can stay in the middle. But you're going to deal with clipping issues. But um, for the most part, it's really just beat dependent. You know what I'm saying? You can hear it. Like, all right, with this is some Bay Area shit, like... It needs to be a little bit stereo. It needs to occupy all that space and stuff like that. We talk about Battle Cat a lot and stuff, you know what I'm saying? I always talk about Battle Cat, his, uh, his kicks and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Like, um, they hit, but like, uh, this is going to be controversial shit, mm-hmm. but they don't hit the way that I want them to hit. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, I feel like they could hit harder, but it's so much more of a balanced mix. So you have to kind of decide whether it's going to be like this lopsided mix where this is the most important thing, but... Yeah, man, you just gotta, you gotta hear it, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I do both, though, for sure, for sure. I do mono and I do stereo. I would say maybe 80% is in stereo, for sure. You know what I'm saying? Just because we listen to stereo. We don't listen to mono anymore. You know what I mean? And we have AirPods on and everything that translates to AirPods, I feel like, uh, sounds a little bit better than stereo. You always have that kind of reference point. All right, well, I'll talk about... I talked a lot of, I talked a lot in depth, real kind of more in depth when I was telling you off camera about it, mm-hmm. but, um, I won't go that much cause I won't stop talking, but <laughs> what I, what I will say is like, I definitely do both too. Right. But, uh, it's really dependent on, I guess how many layers I've already added. If I've already added, if, if, if the beat I'm using already has chords, it already has like two, I use cause I, la- I layer my pianos, right? I have my, I have like a grand piano and an electric piano and a pad. Boom. That's already three things. I already taken up the mix like crazy. You can cut out all the low end, right? But it's yeah. still going to get that mid-range in there that's going to be super enticing and, and super, like, um, it's going to be really, really packed already with those three sounds by themselves. No bass in there. And even if you cut out those frequencies and low end, yeah. it's still going to be, that mid-range is going to be taking up a lot yeah. of, that, of, that, of that mix. So it's really dependent on the beat, I think. Um, but, for example, all my kicks are in mono, right? But I have my sub, my, my, I have, like, three basses I usually use, like, Maybe two sometimes. I usually never really use only one bass. I always have like maybe two, maybe three, right? Every single time. I've never layered. I, yeah, I never do one bass by itself. I do because I love I love texture on basses. I love it so much. Like it, yeah. it just makes it stand out. It's so different to me. And like I learned that from Cardo. I listened to a lot of Cardo beats. He uses like w- weird textures underneath his basses and stuff like that. And like um, so um, I talked. We talked about uh, um, but yeah, I'm gonna. I use I use two 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 bases at least right so one of my bases my sub is always gonna be mono and then my one of my synth bases is gonna be pretty much gonna be stereo so then that's how I image it right so my so that way my sub base my sub base is never as loud as my synth base mm. because it, I'm gonna have my kick go, goes mono also so I'm gonna have my mono kick and my mono sub base I can't have them fighting I want to have my stereo sub base to fill up that mix and what makes it sound whole and full right like that barrier shit and you want to make that sound whole and, fu- and full. And then you also have like your purse you gotta take into when you stereo image uh, stereo image them and you have like hi hats and you got like all this sound going on, the claps, the, all that. It's like you gotta really make, take into account all of those sounds you have you have, you have also. And um, one thing I could maybe uh, a pretty good tip too is like solo out everything but the but the two sub but, but the two bases you use mm. and solo that out and see how that sounds to you and then slowly build in bring in everything. You know, like what, what in that beat, what do you want to be the main driven thing? Do you want it to be the chorus? Do you want it to be that lead? Do you want it to be that pluck? Do you want it to be the drums that day or that beat? Or do you want it to be that, that low end, that bass? You know, it's like what really drives you, what really is driving you in that beat? So like that's a tip I can give too, maybe. And then, um, yeah, the layering, the layering the bass helps out a lot. Um, like I said, you got to sometimes raise that octave up so it has an extra bit of texture to it. Yeah. Um, yeah. But that, that's, that's like how I take it. So. To answer your question, I guess more of like I use both, I like same same way as him. I, I I pretty much use both every single time. My synth bass is always going to be, um, pretty much stereo, and then my sub bass is always mono, pretty much, for the most part. Yeah. 
I mean, uh, not even uh, to even uh, I'll piggyback off of him and shit too. Like, I'll give out a little sauce mm. and stuff. All right. Okay. So, like, if he uses two bases, right? Uh, he'll use two bases. I'll do the exact same thing. I'll use two bases. I have the bite and I have the bottom. But mm. actually, I'll make four four renditions of it. Right. Mm. So I'll have base top, base bottom, and then I'll have full fledged top and full fledged bottom. So during the hook, it's top and bottom. And then during the verse, it's eight bars of just top. And then for the last, you know, for the last mm-hmm. f- eight bars, I'll put bottom. And that last little four bars, it'll be top. And then it's back into the, the mix again with the top and the bottom. You know what I mean? Like people think that like you're adding too many like um, VSTs or too many layers and shit like that. But I do that all the time. So it'll like, you know what I mean? Like, you know, you have the first eight bars of the uh of the verse and that back end four bars of just a sub and then four bars of the bite and then when you as soon as you come back into the hook it's the the, the bite and the bottom yeah that's yeah. that that's a really really big tip because a lot of people mm. do that and uh, i learned that a lot too in school like vocal yeah. vo- with vocals for the lead vocal when the singer's singing yeah. you can pick it up on like adele all the time right yeah. when her when she's doing that hook there's they're actually stereo imaging her voice a lot so it makes it sound brighter and, yeah. and you're more yeah. out there and yeah. like you're now that, that's why that's when you know it's the hook it's a little yeah. bit they even do like a lot of automation on volume so when that yeah. hook comes in it's going to go up like that one and a half db or yeah. something and they stereo image it so now it sounds wider it sounds fuller it sounds like you're really like now you can really feel everything that she's singing like yeah that's a really that's a that's a good thing a lot of people do and then now you take that knowledge you know from vo- vocals yeah you put that into your beats you know what i'm saying like when that when ex- that's, i do the exact same thing right Especially like the four bars before the hook comes back in. Yeah. I take out that really bite, that really, that really bass, the sub of it. I take it out. And then that way, when that hook comes back in, you hear everything come in. Yeah. It sounds loud and full. That like punchy, rumble. Yeah, you, feel, yeah. you feel like, damn, that shit's in your face now. And you're ready to, you know, the hook's coming back. Yeah. And, and I like think the, a big mistake of that is like a lot of people would take it out, but they won't duplicate the bass. But the bass that's in there, like the sub, for example, is already like 6 dB too low because mm-hmm. you're blending it with the top bass. You have to duplicate that. So when that bass, that sub bass comes in, it's as loud as possible. So when they both come in and they blend, it's at the uh, appropriate volume and shit yeah. like that. People don't usually do that. They'll like take it away like, oh, I got the sub bass going here. And it's like, well, bro, you're like 6 dB off. You know what I'm saying? Like you have to add that sub bass back in there with the full volume and then take it away and put it back in the hook and shit like that. That's something that we do pretty religiously, I would say. Yeah. yeah. It brings a lot of energy to it because you yeah. got you, you to gotta really put, you got to make sure the artist feels at all times that you're putting like the best foot forward and you want to make sure like, oh, when that hook comes in, you know, oh damn, this shit's really, I'm feeling yeah. it more. For you know, sure. When that hook for comes sure. In. Yeah. And then when that verse comes in, you kind of let, let shit drop out. Yeah. Whether it's like yeah. drums or whatever, but you, you with that baseline too, you got to make sure you give it breathing room at all times. You yeah. know, I feel like it's kind of not saying you can't do this, but like a lot of times the baseline, like if if it's in there for that whole song, you know, you, it's like ear repetition, ear fatigue, you're gonna get tired of hearing all the time. Yeah. So that's why yeah. you take out that low end or that yeah. bite or something, you switch yeah. it up at all times, and like uh, that's a good way to keep the attention there too. Yeah, because you want to try to engage these artists to always rap on it at all times, never feel like it's the same thing and repetitive. Yep. So that way they can kind of feel like they can flow on it a little better or something mm. like that. And turn that shit up. Quit being oh, scared. Man. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, another question I had, which yeah. I just kind of brought up, uh, definitely already learned a lot from y'all as far as arrangement. Like I see how you like consistently like you like to uh, drop the kick out and just like maybe let the 808 hit or like the uh, bass hit mm-hmm. and then you like to cut off the one uh, uh, sometimes. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> I, 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 the one. So yeah. I definitely like picked up certain things and just yeah. like how uh, to do that. But like what's what's like your general arrangement like if you can give like any arrangement tips or like uh big things that like uh maybe like even mistakes that uh you see like that's happening continuously uh, as far as arrangement go this okay, i'll go first on this one i talked about this one a few times um so for me it's changed a lot right um like for me at first i used to do like suicide boys type beats and ramirez type beats right and like the intro was like 40 seconds long like yeah. just having the hi-hats with the yeah. with the reverb and yeah. just like Getting into it like some some good fellow quote, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some movie quote or whatever. (laughs) And you can still do that because obviously, like like G Perico did that recently on his his newest album, we'll talk about in a bit, but yeah, like he's done that too. And it's like there's a time and a place for it, right? Yeah, yeah. And it's like for, but most of the time when you're on YouTube, when you're sending beats out, it's all about engagement. They got to hear when they're in the the studio, they got to hear that beat in like within, they got to hear that that shit knock within the first 10 seconds. Yeah, Yeah. for sure. Like you got to be like really, everything's got to be like hit every single time because like, Everyone in that studio, you got to make sure if you're in that studio with crunch time, you want to do knock out an album or whatever, you want to make sure that when you send them that beat, 
you want to make sure it's hidden already like the first 10 seconds for the most yeah. time for a majority of the time right but so for me uh i usually do a four bar intro on fl right on fl we do the four bars and then um i'll have like it really there's a lot it, it's hard bro because i've changed it a lot like um like i said i used to do 40 second intros and shit back then now my intro is like 10 seconds maybe eight seconds you know? yeah or actually it might go right up the beat like like this one does it yeah and like um so I guess uh, uh, what I'll say is definitely make your beat hit within the first 10, 15 seconds. Like you got you to gotta make sure like that's just already knocking in the first 10, 15 yeah. for what we do. Um, and uh, so what I'll, what I'll say is you want, here's the hard part. I have, I battle with this all the time because um, do you make the hook go in first? Or do you do the verse first? And like, I've always been told you do the hook first, then the, then the bar, then the verse, and then the hook again, then the verse, and then you do your outro and that's it, right? Because yeah. no one really does three hooks anymore. It's kind of just two, and that's it. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So what I'll do is so here's what I'll do. Right. I do my I do the first four bars. Recently, I'll do my first what I'll do recently because the first four bars I'll have the whatever like the main my, the main piano main, my main melody right like the let's say chords and pad and a like a e piano and a pad. And then I and then I have the bass also in there, like right away from the start, because you're like, well, you want to be in that bitch bouncing already. Sometimes yeah. I'll put the perks in there already. It depends if it's a payroll beat, Larry beat, currency, Primo Rice, whatever it is, Joey Fast, like whatever, right? You just know how they, they would come on right away. Like for like uh, it's just reference of songs you listen to all the time. So I'll do that. I'll, I'll sometimes I'll put the the chords, the pad, the bass, and then a little bit of perks. No clap in the beginning. Mm-hmm. I never really do any snare or clap in the beginning, and then when it comes to that fourth, when that end of that fourth bar is gonna come in, I put in that clap with that loud ass reverb and make that shit boom. You mm-hmm. and you want to hear that bounce? You're hearing that bounce. You're like, where's that clap at, man? Yeah. I'm waiting for that clap to come in or that snare, and then boom, that shit hits. <laughs> reverb loud as hell, and then boom, all the shit, all the instruments come in. You're like, oh shit, it's really getting down. Yeah. When you want to do a beat like that, yeah. But sometimes you put in that kick right away, it kind of changes that whole. Mm-hmm. You're like, oh shit, this shit's yeah. going already. Like on that new Jupirico, like I keep mentioning, but like. Dupree does that shit and like he would, as soon as that shit comes on it's knocking already and then yeah. you're like oh fuck drop that location you know like something yeah. like that right and it's like okay I want to thank y'all for nothing yeah <laughs> it's hard to answer that question to be honest because it's I, I battle with it all the time I'm not yeah. gonna lie do you make that hook come on first do you make the the lead come on or the the verse and like I have I battle with that too right and because all my beats I'll tell you like 95% of them the hook comes in first but one time G Perico told me bro put that Give me the hook for, give me the verse first. I'm like, oh, okay, maybe I should just do the hook first now and like send it to him like that. You know, maybe he likes that way better. And I noticed he likes to talk a little bit in the beginning sometimes, or you know, like it's like it's it's to the person, I guess. Um, but here's here's what I'll say. So intro four bars, hook for eight bars, verse for sixteen, and then a hook for eight bars, <clears throat> then the last verse, and then the outro. That's like the easiest way I can I can put it. Yeah. Without talking too much. Nah, I mean, I I kind of approach it sort of the same way and shit too. Like, um, it really just depends on the artist and stuff like that. Like, I sometimes I do the four count stomp and shit, and yeah. then I'll come uh-huh. in with the beat. Um, if I'm coming in with the hook, which I usually do, just because, like, you know, what I'm saying, like, once you submit it to your your beats for a long time, you feel you figure out, like, hey, bro, it's got to come in loud and proud yep. from the get go. Like, there's no if ands or buts. And then most of the time, like, you know, from everything that I've experienced, like. I'll play the beat and it's going straight into the hook and then like the artist is already feeling it and then exactly when that 16 is supposed to come in they'll start rapping and they're like ooh something got taken yeah, away you know yeah, I mean? yeah. all of a sudden shit is flowing like exactly how they had thought about it in their head um, the only time I ever change it up is just like um, when people actually come over yeah when I have the actual artist here, I'm like, hey, let's, you know what I mean? Like, let's really take our time on here. Whether, like, uh, that's like, hey, you're going to say this and say that. And, like, this part's not going to have drums except for all the perks and maybe the snare, you know? Because sometimes I like the snare when it's, like, it's right there so you know the tempo, you know what I'm saying? So you know where to stomp at or something like that. But every time is different. Sometimes, like, even when I come in straight to the hook, I don't include the lead. I include the lead on the second, second hook. Part, yeah, yeah mm-hmm. the second hook. So, like, the whole hook is there. And they're talking all their shit, and then the beat comes in for their verse, and that second hook, that's where the lead is living at. It's like, mm-hmm. all right, there it is right there, and it's like, damn, that shit was tough. And then even when it goes out, but as far as, like, arrangement, I try to leave them, except for the one that you said, like, I do take away the one a lot of times, but I like to leave at least 
as much meat and potatoes as I can. So when the engineer gets in there, he can filter mm-hmm. this off. He can cut this. He can chop yeah. that. I like to leave that up to them because like these guys who are actually seasoned and know what they're doing, like they can really take that shit to the next level and know like the BPM. Like, so I like to leave as much as possible. But if somebody's here, I'm going crazy. Yeah, you know, I'm doing yeah. it myself. Like, no, 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 no. And I think uh, Kenny Beats talks about this a lot too, is like, um, I won't do it in an actual FL session. Like I'll, I'll put out the wave first and then I'll chop the wave itself. Like I won't go in FL studio and take stuff out because I feel like the sound kind of changes sometimes. Like I feel like when you bounce the wave out and chop the wave, when it's like a full piece, it just gives it a different bounce. So that's kind of like how I approach it. But every time is different, obviously. Yeah. Yeah, There's like a lot of times where like, uh, here's another tip I'll give out too. Like, um, for the, for the hook, I'll use a clap. Or a snare, or a rim shot, or a snap, whatever. Yeah. And then for the verse, it'll be it won't I won't use that. I'll use a clap instead no. of the, instead mm. of the snare, or a, no. I'll use the snare instead of a clap, or mm. something like that. So like, <clears throat> that's a tip I can give too. To kind of change up like, oh shit, now we got the clap in instead of the snare, or we got the clap instead of the instead of the snap. Yeah. And like, or like a rim shot or something like I don't yeah. know where like it changes up that little bit of a bounce. Yeah. And then like you always want to leave that like uh, well like when the hook when the hook's transitioning to the verse. I want to try to make it as smooth as possible, but yeah. also noticeable that it's changing to the verse. Yeah. yeah. So if you have a lead, obviously you get rid of that lead so it's no longer in the verse. And then sometimes you leave, you cut out the drum, so now it's like the 808 or like the 808 or bass or synth bass or whatever. It kind of bounces, boom, and then you're back into that to that verse, you know? Yeah. And that's why I think about it too. It's like you got to make that transition easy for everyone to yeah. understand that it's transitioning from the hook to the verse. Yeah. And vice versa when you went to the verse to the hook. Uh, it's just a, like a follow-up question for like the... Uh... That kind of second verse, uh, is there anything that you particularly look for to make it different? Yeah. Or do, are you generally like keeping it the same? Uh, like, are you adding new instruments? Are you adding different perks? Or are you trying to switch the bass out? Like, what, what's, what are you doing to keep that second uh, verse interesting for the artist? I th- you can go first. Go ahead. Me? Yeah. Oh, I was going to say, yeah. So sometimes, like, um, I, I, um, cause you, know how, you know how we do it, right? We do hook, verse. And then you copy it, right? So now you have to, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You, you double the pattern. So <clears throat> that second pattern, if I didn't put the kick in right away from the verse, I'll put that kick in for that second verse. And then I'll take out some perks. Yeah. And like you take out, okay. I do try to make it different. I don't try to make it exactly the same. Yeah. But there's times, obviously, I have my beats where sometimes it's exactly the same. Yeah. But um, a lot of times I take out um, a lot of perks for okay. that second verse. And then I'll take out, and then I'll have the kick come in. And then with the hi hat and just the clap or something like that, make it real basic for that second verse. And then you kind of build it all the way back up again into that into the outro. Yeah, that's why I kind of think about it too. Or if I have the kick in the first one, I'll have it with no clap, no kick, and it's just a hi hat and all the perks leading into that first verse. And then that that second four bar comes in, then that kick comes in and that bass comes in, and then that last four bars I'll have the kick out and then just the bass and all the perks and like. It just depends. I just think about the bounce. I just think about the bounce. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I just want to feel good when you make yeah. beats and shit. So I just, yeah. you just got to like, I'm not going to lie. That's a, uh, that's a tip I'll bring. Fucking press play and just back up. Like, yeah, like yeah. just, mm. just like let it, just, what do you feel? What yeah, do you think yeah. it needs? For sure. Do you want to put that, that clive in there? Do you want to put that little open hat, that little cowbell? Do you yeah. want to, yeah. do you want to fuck around and stand up and make a, play the lead? Do you want to, you know, like. Let me see play the lead. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, just play the lead, and you're out here with the fucking the legato or the port- the little yeah, wheel and modulation, shit. Modulation, yeah, yeah, yeah. modulation yeah. wheel and shit. You're just fucking around, like. Yeah. I'm just, bro. Like, you just sometimes got you just gotta feel. Does this sound good or not? And yeah. like, you just feel a different bounce. I I do that shit all the time. When my shit, when I think that shit's done, I yeah. press play and just like, I'm eating or something or yeah, whatever, right? Yeah. And uh, you're just there, like in your room, just like does this shit sound good? Yeah, yeah. And like, that's a good tip I'll give to everyone, like. Don't just sit there, boom, boom, copy, paste, and then you're done, and like, and you're exporting. Yeah. Really run through it, and like, does it sound good? Yeah. Do you think you could add another, another instrument, you know? Yeah, same thing, too. Like, uh, second verse, like, you know what I'm saying? We'll end with this and shit, but like, uh, when it goes in the second verse, I usually cut off the snare and all that stuff, and I just have the kick and the hi-hats playing, you know what I mean? And then last bar of that first verse, everything is cut, and then as soon as it comes back into the next four bars, it's everything. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. Man. Just because, like... You know what I mean? Like, it gives it, like, that sort of bridge, and it's, like, an early bridge, you know what I'm saying? Because, like, people don't really put bridges in their music anymore unless it's, like, an actual record type of thing. So I feel like once the snare is cut off and it's just the kick and the hi-hats and the perks playing, depending on it, like, I won't... 
I usually won't have the stomps or anything like that, but like I'll have everything playing except for the snare and then cut that last little tail end off that four bars. And then the next, uh, the next four bars, everything comes back in. Like, I feel like that's like a, a cheat code bridge, you know what I'm saying? That people use a lot and yeah. then we've kind of adapted onto that shit, but that's usually what I do, bro. Yeah. I actually had another question about that because like that's that's how I know when my uh, if I make a Larry June type beat a Dom Kennedy type beat mm. I know it's done when it, it sounds like I got money in my pocket mm. <laughs> like, like when I feel like yeah I'm about to go spend something I got yeah, yeah. yeah. All so, right. okay. like how, how, how y'all know like when it's done like if y'all make those types of beats Ooh. when it's done man when I start when I start rapping myself, bro, yeah, that's start, that, yeah, I, think, yeah. I, think I start dropping like bars that are recycled and shit. I'm yeah. just like, yeah, this is it, bro. <laughs> yeah. Like, I just seen, him, yeah. I just seen like my favorite lyrics that come in my head as I'm like, as I'm making the beat. If the beat is like, if I'm already there, like bouncing and and I always see the bounce shit. Yeah. I don't know what it is. I just yeah, fuck with yeah, that yeah. shit. So like, I think if I'm like really like, if I just sit back and listen to it, I'm like already doing this. And I'm like, if yeah. I want it, you know, I keep it or yeah. something like that. If I'm like singing lyrics to songs and yeah. like. If I can already hear it, then I'm like, okay, this shit's fucking solid. The you know? cadence, you yeah, know I mean? yeah. Like, yeah, you just like, like for example, that one beat I posted, I was like, damn, like I really fuck, I really think this is like the Green Juice and Dallas type like beat that he made. Yeah. And like, uh, I was like, damn, I literally hear him like flowing. It's the exact same BPM and shit. I'm like, damn, this is literally perfect. And I didn't even plan it to be. And I was like, damn, this is literally like this is it. You know, like when you really hear someone, yeah. you're like, okay, then I know it's, I know this shit's done. You know. And here's one thing I, I, I maybe we can all answer or whatever, but um, I like I keep referencing the Jeep Regal shit because it just came out, but like, when do you know? When do you think it's like a? When do you think it's like enough perk? You know, like because that's that's something I battle with all the time. Like um, a lot of my beats, all my beats have cowbells in them, right? And like, I you know I know Cardo like kind of made it popularized it and brought it back, but like. I was I, I put that in like not knowing this is before I like really really knew Cardo but I was always because like I remember Suicide Boys Triple Six Mafia you know like they always use the cowbell in a lot of their songs so I was like well I just use it because of that and then um but like what's the at one point like when you when you listen to like this I don't know if you guys have heard of like the album I know Hunger Force says but if you listen to that new album like it's like hi hat open hat snare you know what I'm saying like drum and like a, a 808 and kick and like it's like they don't use no clav you know what I'm saying like no cowbell like. It's just like when do you know it's like enough, or when is it too much? And it's that battle with that. I think too is like, are we just adding sounds because we're producers? We like that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know if you guys can answer anything to that. I'll let four go first. Go ahead, four. Uh, honestly, I I was a I was like I know I make like West Coast music. I was just against it at the beginning. I was mm. like, this just it's like I just didn't want to add all of the perks and like have it take away from what the artist was doing. Yeah. Um, but honestly, I just uh I. I started putting like if it's if it's loud the perks are loud it's like one or two yeah um, if the, if i lower the volume and it kind of sits in the background and it's still like fan properly um then i go crazy yeah, yeah. i want to say the last couple of beats it was like five i was like this is crazy so <laughs> so and i was still trying to throw stuff in there i was just trying wait, to throw just wait like till we the, cook up after this you know? <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah so you don't see mr perk himself it's just got to percolator it's yeah. got to yeah. sit right in the mix it's yeah it's got to yeah. sit right in the mix and if it if, hey if you got the bounce it's good that's it's what good. i'm saying you just gotta but i think that's the hard part is like you add all those jumps to add the bounce, but sometimes you don't need all of that. You need like the mm. artist to kind of rap on it and they add the bounce or something like that. You know what I'm saying? They create the pockets in there. And like, mm. like, I, like obviously everyone says it less is more. Right. And it's like, that really is true. Yeah. And like, I think sometimes like the, like the little, like 11 year old me in high school, boom, like making beats on the table and shit. You know, you always fucking making like battle beats and shit. You know, it's like, well, you add that shit to like, I don't yeah. know, it's hard to explain, but. No, nah, even like I, I uh, with it sometimes. yeah, even like uh, the way that I approach it and shit like that too, because like you know perks are good and shit like that, and perks have their purpose, but like at the same time, like I process perks a lot. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. So like my perks go to a lot of reverb, yeah, they go yeah, to yeah. a lot of panning, yeah. and they go to a lot of delay. Yeah. So it's really about the perk that is fitting in the area. Like I don't try to. I don't try to get it too busy, but if like, you know what I'm saying? Like one snap or just one like perk with like the right reverb just fill the space, like it just adds that certain bounce to it. And like I'll be a little bit like um I'll be a little bit vulnerable right here and shit too. Cause like even in the beginning, like I felt like sometimes like my hats and my open hats like weren't the best. So I would put perks and shit like that with like delay and like perks with reverb to fill spaces like that to compensate for like 
when I would think people's like, damn, these hats are crazy. You know what I'm mm. saying? So I would add perks or add perks and I would add like, you know what I mean? The chirp and shit like that. Yeah, my yeah. chirp is the hi hat roll. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like my rim is the open hat. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? So like, and that kind of like, I don't know, it kind of like gave it its own bounce and shit like that. Yeah. Cause like where somebody would add something, like I'm doing the complete opposite cause I don't really feel comfortable yeah. doing it. So like I would just process my perks a lot. Like I wouldn't add a perk unless it was processed from the beginning. Like Damn, sometimes, later. yeah, exactly. Like sometimes I'll add that shit, but unless it's actually getting processed, same thing with the base video and shit. Like you have to add it while it's getting processed. Like, you know, when you open the FL channel and it's channel one and everything, yeah, yeah, was yeah. It, there's like a verb on yeah, there and there's yeah, yeah. the delay. I want to hear what that perk sounds like on there. And it's like, like yep. when I hear it, I'm like, yep, this goes here, yeah. this goes there, this goes there. So that's kind of like the way I approach it for sure. With okay. the well, that's a, that's a question I had. That's why I had a follow up to that because uh, this is also an issue for me. Like, yeah, mm-hmm. when is when is it too many sounds? Yeah, I, when no. is it too many? Because like at this point, I like I just generally don't care how many sounds there are. I just throw it in as yeah. long as it feels right. Yeah, and I, I, I but I get that like it's too many and it clogs up the middle. So I like I, you got to you got to save space for the artist. Yeah. So like when is too many of sounds like how do you know that there's too many sounds? You want to go first? You want to go first? Bro, there I don't think there's ever too many sounds, but there I mean no way. There definitely is a, too many sounds, but it's all like you're not going to have them all at once. You yeah, know what yeah. I'm saying? So if, if you can let's say let's just say for example you have a your your, your channel, your pattern on FL, eight bars whatever. And let's just say you have like mm, 10, 10 different BSTs open up. Maybe 12 or something like that, right? You might have layers of the same stuff. But I think, like, if you can if you can structure it right, right? Like, intro has a sound. Maybe you have a sound just for the intro, and you never bring it in for the yeah. rest of the song. Mm-hmm. Or and for the outro. You, may have, you might have a sound for the intro, and then for the outro. And then you might have sounds for the verse, and you might have sounds for the hook. So you can have 12 sounds, 15 sounds, but they all got to be placed in the correct position in the song. So I feel like there's never too much. But there is too much. You know what I'm saying? I guess it's just like a feel thing in like a space. And can you can you really hear 12 sounds all at once, including the drums? You know what I'm saying? Like you're going to have 18 different sounds going off at once. And it's yeah. like, does it all add up or not? And you kind of just figure that out yourself. And um, I think I think a lot of it is like listening to other songs. Like this whole Jeep Rico album, like there's no more than like six perks per song. You know, maybe five yeah. sounds, six sounds per song. So it's like you really just got to um, less is more. But you also got to add your bounce and you, you're, you know, it's hard as a producer, right? Because you hear different drums and bounces all the time and like hi-hat rolls and maybe it don't need a hi-hat roll. Maybe it just needs to feel to that, that beat. You know, it don't need yeah. anything more than that. A little velocity, a little pan, a little bit of something, you know what I'm saying? Like a little bounce to it, but never really like crazy triplets and sick, you know, all these quadruplets and all that. You don't need all that, but yeah. I, just, I guess that's a good answer for what I got. But what do you got, Hunter? No, I think it's the same thing, too. Like, everything is different because, like, man, some of the best shit I've done is, like, over 60 sounds, you know what I'm saying? Mm. And some of the shit that I have that is, like, really popular is only, like, six sounds, you know what yeah. I mean? Like, so you kind of have to pick and choose and stuff like that. I think, like, uh, as long as sounds are not repetitive, because, like, I think on every beat I use about... Like, you know, three crashes, you know, three crashes mm. in one pattern is ridiculous. But if the crash hits for the one on the hook... And then a different crash in the beginning of the verse and yeah, then a yeah. different crash in the halfway through the verse. Yeah. Like, I think that's acceptable. Yeah. But like, you kind of just have to pick and choose and stuff like that. And like, I'll add them all in. But once I separate everything out, like I'll do different patterns and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Like it just, it just really just depends. You know what I'm saying? You have to use your producer ear and be like, all right, well, this is too much. You know what I'm saying? This is too, this is too cloudy and stuff like that. But like at the exact same time, like I've gotten records like, and it's just like, damn, bro, you know, how many, you know how many stems that is? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. going back to like what I was talking about earlier, like, you know what I mean? Like, dude, that was like 37 stems that I sent homie and shit like that. Like, that's crazy. You know what yeah. I mean? And just like, just is what it is, dog. Like, uh, you just kind of, you, you have to use your ear, bro. Yeah. You got to kind of, you know what I'm saying? Like, once you're seasoned enough, you're like, all right, this is too much. This is too less. And then a lot of times, like, I'll add all those sounds and I'm like, okay, well, if I have the sounds, I'm going to put this at the back end of the verse or I'm going to put this in the first of the verse and I'm, this is not going to be the hook. You just have to make educated decisions of what's, where the excitement is at and where the, the, the continuation is at. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. you have to decide. You know what I mean? Like, maybe if you put in the organ, you know what I'm saying? Maybe the organ is not on the hook and it's yeah. in that first part of the verse yeah, or the yeah. second part of the verse or something like that if there's bells maybe it's not on the hook maybe it's at the back end or something like that but you just gotta use the producer here man yeah i feel like and I, I, i'll say this too like dj quick he likes to fuck around a lot at the end of his songs yes yeah. like a lot of times maybe you just leave that to the intro yeah yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. 
go crazy on yeah. the lead or something, yeah. Yeah. something like that. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, that, even speaking on that, man, like, um, you know, going forward and stuff like that with like making beats or any, and like, uh, is there some artists you still like, you know what I'm saying? Got on the checklist, like who you want to work with going forward and stuff? Um, just anybody who's willing to work with me. Uh, yeah. like all the people who've used a, a beat, I, I vibe to it. Like, so yeah. I appreciate them using the beat and I just want to continue to make things that people want to use. Cause mm. it's, it's big to like make things and like uh like upload them you don't ever see it being used but then when you find out it's used it feels good it gives you that motivation to keep yeah. going um so it's no specific artist it's just like i want to keep grinding i want to make the uh, quality of the sound uh so much so that they can't deny it. it's like you you hey if i send it to you you go say it's quality no matter what mm-hmm. gotcha. um, well hell yeah shit what about you also say the you want to you want to start dropping? You want to work on getting loop kits out? Uh, yeah. So I don't. I, I just wanted to make the sure the sound was solid enough to send more people, and then also make my own loop kit. So yeah. that's definitely it. And I, I like the game we talked about. Like, why not include the FLP? If you do it, <laughs> everybody got purity. Everybody yeah, yeah, got purity. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, like, yeah. hey, you make a whole beat in purity. You you. Uh, or even that. just FLPs of like, uh, you put a sampler so they can put in their VSTs and just yeah. call it. Oh, this is the chords. These are the bass. This. Is the, Oh shit! I'm about to cut that one out. Hold on. <laughs> too much game. Yeah, too much. There, I think there is a, there is something like that out there. Well, the problem is like for our that, for our little yeah. niche, I don't think there is. But well, you're gonna get that slime balls like I didn't use that. Yeah, you know that's true. It's like, oh, come yeah, on. We're true. gonna go to court of law yeah, for like yeah, two hundred dollars. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah, all this stuff gets complicated. That's why you have to stem stuff out, man. You know what I'm saying? It's almost like a, yeah, right. a paper trail for that shit because you can't. Us, we can send each other FLPs, you know what I'm saying? There's a trustworthy thing to it. But when you start, you know what I'm saying, selling like to like some random person, and all of a sudden fucking Drake is on it. And it's like, mm. bro, I put the purity in them. Nah, you didn't. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Or like, true. yeah, you did. I only got I only want to give you two percent, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, well, I like, guess you only you don't yeah. have the connection and I was marketing <laughs> it, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. Like I hate hearing that. Yeah, dude. that's true, that's yeah, true. No. But I guess you only send FLPs out to the real ones you put. Yeah, you know you what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you can't go like the whole like court if it really comes down to it, they have the session and then they yeah. can see when they opened it and all that so, exactly yeah, yeah I don't no, know no. well if it, I mean actually if you send an FLP out you have the FLP you can just yeah but you yeah, can't take notes into a court of law you know what I'm saying I think we talked about that off camera and stuff like that too like even like with MIDI and stuff like no 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 the, take, like, the a FLP yeah, no yeah. the FLP session no, is what I'm trying to talk yeah. about like you have to make that you have to make the FLP session so you have the original one before you send it out, you have the original one, and it yeah, has a time and date. Like I could just do like a save as, and all of a sudden, like you're out of the equation, you know? Mm. Yeah, there's there's some ways around it. There's some ways <laughs> there's, if you want if you want to get gritty, yeah, you, yeah, you, yeah, yeah. You, you, and that's you all get, these dudes. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Like yeah, I just yeah. want to be uh, protective for everybody because like yeah, these true. dudes are doing that. Shit. Maybe don't do that. Maybe don't do that. FLP for the homies. Yeah, everybody yeah, yeah. else just like you know what I'm saying? Like there's no denying it. Like FTP for the for oh FTH fuck FTHs and shit. Damn, bro. All right, do you want to ask one more question? Uh, no, you four. You got uh, another one, or you think you're done? Uh, the 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 side chain and debate as far as like kick oh. bass. Um, I'm being absolutely honest. I I've side chained this past year like five times. Like I just uh-huh. I just generally don't side chain. Like I feel like it's for me. I just find something that mixes well. But I want to know, like, if you've side changed, and if so, like, what are the benefits, and like, how, like, what do you feel like it brings to a track? Oh, I'll add right now. I'll go first. Like, okay, I, I don't right. side chain yeah, at all. Yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. yeah, no. That side chain stuff is like really, really cool. Like, I, I respect it. I understand what it is. But like, for what I do, like, I don't need to side chain anything. You know what I'm saying? My bass and my kick live in a different area. If I use the 808, I just shift over, you know what I'm saying, if anything, because the kick is going to be like that. It's not going to be, you know what I'm saying, like the the transient is so quick. I'll just put the, I'll just, you know, the little shift knob on that shit. Yeah. I'll just shift it over and stuff like that. But as far as side chain, like, nah, I don't, I don't do any of that. That's a little bit too much over processing yeah. for me. You and know if you, yeah. here's, a, and I'll, I feel the exact same way and then I'll finish it, right? If you really want to get it sidechain, the person will buy the track house and their engineer can sidechain mm-hmm. it for you. But it's not going to come sidechain for me at, at, in my stems and shit like that. Yeah. If you really want it to happen, you'll make it happen as your engineer and stuff like that. Yeah. So we're the producers. We're not going to be, I mean, we both en- have engineered and shit, but we're not going to like do that because that isn't what our sound, like what we, what we exactly what he said. 
And then if you want your shit side chain, <laughs> yeah, go get the stems and they yeah, eventually yeah. to do it. Yeah. You can add that shit yourself. But yeah. like, no, 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 no. Everything needs to hit accordingly and side chaining. Um, like, I get it, you know what I'm saying? But I feel like side chaining, side chaining answers a question where the mix is wrong. Mm. And uh, depending on whether the mix is wrong, whether you need to shift stuff over and stuff like that. But like uh, side chaining is almost like a band aid on a gunshot wound. It's Ooh. not solving anything really. You know what I mean? It might look good and like, all right, cool. But nah, West Coast shit, no side chain. Wow. Mm. No. That's a, good, that's a good question. That's a no. good uh, analogy, huh? I a band-aid on a gunshot wound yeah, yeah it's not yeah, doing yeah. anything okay. like it sounds cool and it's like all right well this can punch through and the bass comes yeah, in yeah. afterwards like no 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 both have to live at the exact same time yeah. and yep yeah no 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 no. definitely like not. i said man you can't tame the 808 you can't tame that beast you can't tame that sub and shit you know she belongs to the streets bro <laughs> oh man <laughs> and then um we talked about that your the 2023 what are what are some 2023 goals besides the loop kid and obviously work working with more artists like what, yeah. what is something else Hey, I, I take whatever comes with it. This, this, I, I for me, uh, I feel like, uh, like when I set goals, uh, it's not necessarily pressure. It's just like I'm grinding towards that goal, mm -hmm. I, and I might miss something bigger. Yeah, there might sure. be a bigger opportunity on the horizon that I wouldn't even look at. So I'm just gonna keep grinding, and whatever comes with it comes with it, and I just stay open and have like a growth mindset towards any opportunities. So that's that's just my whole perspective on this. Anything that uh, comes with it is always extra because I'm not holding myself to anything. Mm. Yeah. Well, if there's anything that like we can help, is it like uh, you know we talked about you working with artists and stuff like that. Is there any producers that you want to collab with that they're like you know so, what I'm saying that maybe like uh, we know or something like that can plug or something like that? Or, yeah, yeah. If I may say like just everybody in sound selection is just yeah yeah I, yeah. I, I like I follow all the music. It's, it hits like I just learned. I feel like I learned a lot from just listening to all the beats. Yeah. Um. I haven't reached out because again, I just wanted to make sure the quality was there, and like uh, like the brand was kind of uh starting to develop because mm -hmm. I know it's uh different when you uh like reach out to somebody and you actually got something going versus mm -hmm. it's not always there. Mm. Um. So d anybody in sound selection, anybody who make West Coast beats. Yeah. I feel like let's let's get to it. <laughs> let's get hey, to man. it. I'm, I'm willing to work. Hell yeah. Hey man, well, we we uh we know all of them. Yeah. So <laughs> let know, us know. You know let what us know. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, yeah, we, yeah. we talk off camera. We we can yeah. we can we can definitely make a, spread the word out. You know, three gotcha. is definitely out there. And yeah. if you said like you want to make sure, I'm gonna reassure yourself, right? When you said uh you're, you you want to make sure the sounds there is there, so you don't gotta worry about that. That's yeah, 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 so sure. that yeah. shit'll happen. But um, I see you got the Larry June shirt on. Yeah. Oh, are we going to this? Quick, I, know, I know how y'all yeah, end. You know, I'm, on, I'm a fan man. of the show. We're oh, oh you yeah. wanna, you wanna, wanna do, go what, to Okay, do you wanna ask anything else before we do this? Uh, no. Nah, 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 there's nah, always I'm questions good. off camera, but you yeah, can ask. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, I'm good. Okay, good. here we go, man. Head to toe. Head to toe, bro. We we'll start with our guests and shit, bro. You know, what man. Come on, man. Spaceships on the blade T-shirt. Come on, damn. The little Porsche logo. No, let's go wear it. No, again, big congrats. On the album, yeah, um, you, being a part of the album. Yeah. Uh, uh, I, I got a couple Cutthroat t shirts too, so like definitely mm. shout out to Joey. Yeah. Uh, uh, definitely support Cutthroat, uh, yeah. definitely a big, uh, definitely helping the community in yeah. Long Beach. Um, I generally don't wear too much, I just I always make sure it's Nikes on my feet. <laughs> uh, that's, that's pretty much it. I got like Air Max, whatever. Just what are those? Uh, those are the Trailblazers um, or. I don't even know. I just I generally keep Nikes on my feet, and then you know, only other shoe I wear is like uh support like Iverson with his lifetime oh, okay. deal with Reebok. Mm. So that's what I wear, and like Shaq owns Reebok now, so like I'm so a part of Reebok, so I'll support that a couple of times. But Nike's too comfortable. Anything else just feel weird. Damn. Yeah. Okay. What I'm saying, okay. man. It's like yeah, it's like uh I don't know. Uh, there Larry talked about like dope boy Nikes, like mm -hmm. so yeah, it's like. That type of thing. So I think four to three needs that lifetime Nike deal. Come on, man. Come on, man. This is a real supporter right here. I was happy to see him and not see those black forces. I was like, I don't oh, know what we're getting damn. into. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hey, 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 they get a bad rap. They get a bad rap. Hey, <laughs> that means he cold. has a few pairs. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Cold, yeah. 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 All right. Well, you go ahead. Uh, uh, I'll go ahead. I got. I ain't yeah, nothing, go for nothing too crazy. You know. I got. I got the L.A. Born and Raised hat. Shout out Born and Raised. They just got the NFL collab. They got the Bad Bunny collab. They got. Everything, bro. That shit's crazy. And I got the Pericos Enterprise. If you really want to win, 
Get with Perico's Enterprise, man. Yeah. The Ain't No Love in L.A. That this that this that uh, Ain't No Love in L.A. I actually wore this to the to the show when I was backstage. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, this is a little some some special right Damn, here. Damn, a lot and, of history. And then I got the you know G five nine pants right here. The car goes. Still don't, don't know how to get the actual. And then I got the Nike socks with the Reebok shoes. The classic nylons right there here. There we man. go. Come on, man. The what's up, fools? Come on. Damn. So the, I really fuck with these shoes, actually. No, like, super comfy. They're, those, my, yeah. they're my beaters. I call them the steppers. Oh, I heavy just, steppers. You just go wherever you want in them. Shit. Where's Mr. Morale? You know what I'm saying? No, nah, no, nah, I'm talking shit. I got the fucking Dodgers hat. This is like the little 60th. I got the North Face Pro Club. I got the mushroom pants. You know what I'm saying? Still with the crease. You feel me? I have those too. And then I got the, the NAR Hunters, the SBs and shit. You know what I'm saying? You know what it is. Take them off. You know what I'm saying? Okay. No big deal, bro. Sounds like, I guess. Uh, Come on, man. Is that, North, is that North Face jacket? What size is that? Uh, large? I'm going to catch after the show. <laughs> I'm to, I'm to you seen that, that tweet and shit? It was like, motherfuckers in uh, LA and Riverside wearing North Face and shit. Is it that cold or what? Mm. Are people tripping? I don't know. I think it's freezing, bro. Hey, or did you watch the last episode, dog? Yeah, yeah. Did you see us get into it about the jacket? The jacket? The, under, the undefeated too. jacket? Oh, and the floor is too big. Yeah, too, too big. Yeah, bro. This was said it's too cold. What was it? It's too uh, cold. Why is it that all the time this was always wearing a jacket? And this was trying to talk about it's not cold. It's not cold. But when I said 39 degrees, you want to put it on? That's a big jacket, bro. That was like Gore Tex. That's a. <sighs> We're gonna have to talk after this. After, after it was, a, camera, snow, hey, it was the, a snowboarding what, jacket. You when know, the cameras go, wear that everywhere. What, what, real quick, what are your thoughts on that jacket? You seen it or not? Uh, uh, <laughs> hey, I, I'm gonna say this. So, like, whatever you want to wear is whatever you want to wear. That's what I'm saying. Uh, so, yeah. like, you know, it's, it's all about style, and especially if you're showing up, uh, you know, for the cameras or something. Yeah. What was it? Pimsy said the cameras ain't got a. Uh, they don't. They don't show the temperature. Oh, yeah, yeah. So something like that. So you know, you gotta. You gotta <laughs> hey, you might, take notes. You might come have on. a mink on. Yeah. It might mink on in hundred degree weather. You yeah. Know? yeah. Come on. Yeah. If it look nice, look nice. Hey, look, it, to me, it sounds like four or three's on my side. That's all I'm saying. Man. He's on my side. What you? What do you mean? He just said if it, it don't matter the temperature. Yeah. Exactly. My side. <laughs> He's on my side, dog. <laughs> hey, man, it's been two feet on a pod. Care, bro. You're my with, side. With Fuck the that. motherfucking guest for yeah. the three, man. Yeah, we appreciate yeah. you coming on. Appreciate Hell it. Yeah. Appreciate it. Hey, not only is he a fan of the pod, he's a real ass homie. He pulled up to the Hunger Forces show. He pulled up, you know, with gifts. You know, like. This is a real last dude right here. Come fuck with my guy for the three. Go cop some beats. You know, yep. Christmas coming up. Yep. I hope everyone has a really, uh, really good Christmas. Celebrate with their family, or you know, if you don't have a family out there, just. Try to be safe and and uh and stay to yourself and shit. Be uh don't be be doing no crazy shit. Yeah. Don't yeah, get the yeah. black forces on your feet and shit. And uh, nah, 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 nah. Just, 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 do, just. Hey, man, we're doing good, man. Everyone, yeah. hope everyone does good. Hope everyone's doing numbers. You feel me? Uh, go subscribe to him. It's uh for the three on Instagram, for the three on uh B stars, for the three on YouTube. Yeah, uh, four T H A T H R three three. Three three, three. three. Okay. platforms three, three, and shit, bro. Go fuck yeah. with bro and shit Appreciate like that, man. Appreciate you coming on the uh, coming on the pod. Um, is there anything you want to leave with people or anything like that? Um, yeah, I feel like I should be uh, like uh, hella inspirational after TJ. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but just keep grinding, man. Keep grinding, my yeah. Uh, yeah that come up might not come tomorrow. Keep grinding. Is there Either anything you want? Is there anything you want to put out there? You know what I'm saying. Going to 2023. You know what I'm saying. Who you gonna work with? You know what I'm saying. Big goals. You know what I'm saying. It's speaking into existence, bro. We feel like it happens. You know what I mean. I got some things in the works. I yeah. not, not gonna speak on specifically, but yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, just end it with like keep grinding. Uh, might not come tomorrow, but it will come. Just keep grinding. Mm -hmm. yeah, 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 man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. Shout out to Jeep Rico. Eventually, you feel me? Shit don't stop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. South bro. Central out right now. You I'm, know what I'm saying? I want to thank y'all for nothing. Oh, man. <laughs> Gossip. Gossip, bro. That's oh, my shit, come bro. On, come man. on, man. All right, bro. We out. Adios, amigos. Yeah.